around. We're on, I think. Well, hello, everyone, and... Okay, he's gonna count us down and I'll okay. give you a tap. Okay. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the live stream of the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association's 2024 National Championships in San Diego. We're just minutes away from kicking off the first of today's three individual preliminary heats. I'm Jeff Whittle. My co-commentator is Valerie Coit, one of the co-founders and board members of the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association. Welcome, Valerie. Thank you, Jeff. We're so excited to be here today and get this started. This has been an event months in the works. Uh, as, a, as a board member for the USA JPA, we have been working on this for over a year now. So it's so exciting to finally be here, being ready to get going with our first individual uh, preliminary round. Uh, we have a lot of competitors that wanted to participate in this year's event. We sold out very quickly, so we're excited to be a little bigger and better this year. It's three days instead of two, and you know we just have a lot to come, so we're so glad people are joining us on the live stream today. And it was a pleasure working with you, Valerie, on the 2022 mm -hmm. uh, Jigsaw Nationals, and now we're back about 18 months later for a second go-round, and as you said, it's a much bigger event this year. This is a whole extra day and the room is filled and folks can hear the uh, all of everybody ch you know yeah. talking and the all yeah. excited here as we get ready to yep. kick off the yeah. uh, individual. Now this is the first of three preliminary rounds yes, for today. Yes, the first of the individual preliminaries. So we have 100 competitors in here today. The top uh, 33 will advance to the final. Uh, and the final will happen on Sunday. So this is a big day for folks to get that first individual round out of the way. To me, this is the most nerve wracking of all of it. The teams and pairs, you have people to compete with. You're kind of bouncing off of each other. It's a little less stressful, whereas here the pressure's on. So yeah, we're excited for these folks, but they're gonna have all of the comp competitions today are individual rounds. So uh, it'll be really exciting to see how things go. And the uh, puzzler who finished third in the 2022 individual final, Sarah Schuler is competing in this round here. In fact, this first round also, the top ranked speed puzzler in the United States, Karen Kautz is competing. She's only sitting a few tables away from us. She's at table 20. I'll, I'll I think Sarah Schuler is uh, at number at table 18. Yeah. So just quick correction. It's Lauren. Lauren Coutts. I think you said Karen. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay. okay. Yeah, uh, Lauren. But yeah, we're going to go uh, cut to Allie here now, and she's going to make some announcements and some rules, and uh, then we'll get going with the countdown. Welcome, everyone, to the 2024 USA Jigsaw Nationals. Welcome, welcome. We are so excited to have you here at the very first preliminary round of the individual competitions for today. We have 100 competitors in this room. The top 33 today will advance. We will have a two hour time limit and um, I'm gonna run through a few rules uh, to keep in mind while you're puzzling. So you all should have a blue bag on your table with a blue dot on it. Please raise your hand and let a volunteer know if for some reason you don't have a blue dot. Uh, or if you have a different color dot, I should say. Uh, please don't open that bag though until we say go. We will do a countdown and when we say go, our timer will start and then you can open your bag. Your puzzle inside will, be, uh, no, will not be sealed, so you should be able to dig right in. As you get close to finishing, raise your hand if you don't see a volunteer nearby, so to let them know that you're getting close to finishing, all of our volunteers are in yellow vests, and they will be looking, uh, so they should catch you, but if for some reason they don't, start to give them a heads up. Um, once you're done with your puzzle, we need your hands to come completely off of the puzzle, both hands up to let us know that you are done. 
Uh, we don't want to see any hands still on the puzzle. Once your hands are off of that puzzle, then we will record your time and you can check out your time across the hall. If you're missing a piece, there's a 10 second penalty. Uh, if after 10 seconds you can't find your missing piece, your time will stop. If you find it sooner, your time stops sooner. If after the two hours you haven't completed your puzzle, we will do a countdown. We'll ask everyone to take their hands off the puzzle, and you will have a 10 sec. Or sorry, you will have. Um, we'll ask you to wait for volunteers to come and take a photo of your puzzle and help you count up the clusters of three or more pieces that count towards your ranking. You will still get a ranking. Please be sure to be a great puzzle neighbor uh, and avoid distractions like singing, tapping, things like that. Make sure that you um, are a nice neighbor. We are going to have just a few minutes uh, before we do the countdown. And so rest for just a few minutes, and we will start the countdown. Uh, get excited, everyone. And now we're back live at the USA Jigsaw Puzzle 2024 Nash, uh, Nationals here in San Diego. I'm Jeff Whittle. I'm My partner is Valerie Coy. Mm -hmm. And to thank everyone watching us on YouTube and Twitch, we're offering our live stream viewers the chance to win a prize. Mm -hmm. Viewers at home can go to usajigsaw.org and click on the live stream prize banner on the home page. Mm -hmm. Fill out the entry form and you're gonna want to enter the keyword speed for the chance to win some amazing prizes. That keyword again is speed. We're gonna announce the winners of the live stream prizes this Sunday, March 24th, during our closing ceremonies, mm -hmm. which will be broadcast from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. here Pacific time. One entry per keyword but there's gonna be a total of 16 keywords throughout the uh, weekend, so you can have lots of entries in the, for the, uh, the raffle there on Sunday, so keep tuning in. Yeah, keep checking it out and listening for those keywords, and we're excited uh, that people at home are gonna get the chance to win things too. We have so many sponsors who donated some really great prizes, so it should be really cool and fun for everybody to see what those are on Sunday when we announce them. Um, so just to repeat again, we're gonna get started here in a few minutes with Allie counting us down from five when we when we hit that 10.30 mark. So we wanna start right on time. Puzzlers right now are in the room, they're stretching, they're standing up, they're squirming around a little bit. Uh, this is a nerve wracking part because you know they don't know what's inside that bag. So uh, you know that's the excitement that comes from this. So as soon as they, uh, do the countdown and start, we'll reveal the image so you will all get to see that at home. And I'm just so excited to see what people are gonna think of the puzzles that we chose. It's been a long process of working with Robinsberger so that we could have uh, unpublished puzzles for all of the events this weekend. So nobody will have ever seen these. There's no way that somebody in here did it already and is gonna have a leg up on somebody else. So they're all starting at the same point. That's excellent, and of course, yeah. we'll show the puzzle to the viewers at, uh, on the live stream mm -hmm. as soon as the competitors yeah. unveil theirs. We don't want to give even a few seconds of no. preview, so as soon as they st get their puzzles ripped open and dumped out on the table, we'll unveil it yep. for, the, uh, for the live stream viewers, and then yep. we'll discuss that puzzle and oh, kind of yeah. break it down. <laughs> Valerie will give us some, uh, you know, some strategies yep. that 
some of the competitors may be using to put that puzzle together. Yep. You know, we had mentioned that Sarah Schuler is competing in this first preliminary, mm -hmm. and that's awesome. Lauren Kautz, as well, who's ranked number one in the world. Um, also, Kathy Reuter is competing. She's at table number 19. She is ranked fifth. Uh, in the United States, I should not say the world. There's a separate world rankings. Sarah Schuler's 13th in the United States. So they're mm -hmm. all uh, among many others, and we'll break those down for you yeah. throughout this uh, two-hour competition, yep. which is just about to get underway here in a couple of minutes. Yep. But, uh, you know, we'll talk more about uh, some of the other events that are going yeah. on. We've got the puzzle chess going on in the other yeah, room for yeah. folks that that are here maybe in San Diego or here at you mm -hmm. know at the convention center mm -hmm. to that would want to wander around and mm -hmm. uh, watch that or even yep. sign up for that so there's a lot of fun things there's yeah. seminars yep. including how yeah. to start your own state organization I know. We, we we basically take what could just be a competition and we make it a lot more work for ourselves yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so we've added a convention component and part of why we do that is we really truly want the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association, it's not just about speed puzzling, it's about connecting the community. Sorry for the pun. Yeah, <laughs> um, okay. It's really about bringing puzzlers together and letting them share their enthusiasm for puzzling with each other. So we try to have a bunch of things this weekend that are also geared towards people that are just casual puzzlers and don't want to necessarily speed through something. Um, I get that a lot where people yeah. are like, wait, you're, it's supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> uh, so why are you making it nerve-wracking? And I'm just like, well, <laughs> not, if you're good at it, you know, it's fun to go fast. Right. If yeah. you're in the competition, it's not about relaxing and going slow. But there's, a, mm -hmm. there's people that came from across the United States. Mm -hmm. We even, as you mentioned earlier, some folks from Europe are here. Yeah, we have some European champs Australia, here. Australia, yep, yep. the Canadian champ, the head of uh, Australian Puzzling mm -hmm. Association there, yep, of course. Yep. Alfonso. Yeah, the World Jigsaw the, Puzzle Federation president is, is here. From Spain. He's, he's watching us. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Making I, sure we do it all right. I met, we're the, we're I the met, official liaison, right, so yeah, right, he's got exactly. he's to keep an eye on us. That's right. <laughs> and of course, you're at Worlds every year. Yeah, I go to Worlds, and last year I did the uh, English live stream, which was the first time they'd ever done an English live stream. It was so much fun. I'm hoping there's some folks out there that listened the last time and uh, you know are, are joining me again I'm excited if I've seen you before thanks for coming back but yeah this is just gonna be so much fun this weekend and I know there's puzzlers out there that are maybe got up a little bit early this morning because they were like I wanna I'm gonna watch you know even with the time difference uh, we had lots of people getting up in the middle of the night from the US to watch us in Spain. So we're just excited to have a, an international community of puzzlers joining us via the live stream. And many of them are already checking in in the yeah, chat there on it our is. YouTube yeah, yep. channel where we're one of the venues where we're streaming live here yep. also on Twitch. So we'll go through some of those uh, comments and yep. highlight those and give shout outs to folks and really thank you for watching wherever you are. Yep. You can say who you're rooting for. Maybe you've got a, a friend or a relative that's taking part in the competition. Um, yeah, I'm you're maybe here lots to see, of, yeah. you know, uh, lots somebody. Lots of cheering for folks in the chat. I'm awesome. seeing it's and like you can great. mention where Sarah, you're checking yep. in from, where you're watching yeah, from. Let We'd us love know to where highlight you're from. that yep. as well. I see somebody said there's lots of speedy speedsters from Minnesota. And I think part of that, I'm from Minnesota. I think part of that is we've had puzzle competitions going there for decades. So you've had people that are familiar with the sport and have have participated for many many years i've been doing this since 1999 which a lot of people are like wow you're 25 old. years you started <laughs> when you were two apparently I, right exactly <laughs> yeah i started very young that is exactly the right answer and of course uh minnesota <laughs> i lived in minnesota for a couple of winters mm -hmm. long well, cold winters so that's yeah. conducive to staying inside it and, is, and yes. doing these uh, puzzles and stuff <laughs> Here in San Diego, You're not wrong, right? you know, in the winter it gets down. <laughs> 
down to like 60 degrees yeah. or Unbearable. so. Unbearable, yeah. So <laughs> folks are still out surfing and, you know, hiking yeah, exactly. and things like that. So Well, I will say, if you're from Minnesota, you better like winter because you don't want to be indoors for six months out of the year. So we try to enjoy it <laughs> yes, as much as possible. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'm I'm from neighboring Iowa, so we had some pretty good winters, but I did live in yeah. Minnesota, as yeah, I mentioned, yeah, a couple of great. years. Yeah, that's great. So you're, you know what I'm talking about. Exactly. Yeah. So I think we're getting pretty close to uh, kicking the actual competition off here. Yep, we're um, going to cut. Yeah, so yep. let's go back yep. to we're the main go back stage to here. Yep. And we'll, Allie Krasny is going to kick off our first puzzling event of the weekend. Yep, uh, we're going to do that right now. That sounds great. Okay. We're just letting the live stream crew know we're, we're good to go. All right, and there's Allie at the podium. <laughs> All right, is everyone ready? Woo! Are you guys excited? All right, get ready. We're gonna count down and then you can open your puzzle. So we're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, puzzle! All right, there they go. There they go. They're getting those puzzles open. This is one of the most exciting parts, just seeing everybody dig in. <laughs> so one other thing I'll mention is it's a little different than we've had in the past because Robinsburgers changed their packaging. They're going for a more um, sustainable kind of model. Oh. So they've got smaller boxes and they're using stickers instead of shrink wrap. So less plastic waste. And so, uh, yeah, it was a little different in that nobody has to deal with the shrink wrap anymore. And man, the room just got quiet, Jeff. It's it kind of crazy. It uh, they're focusing. But yeah, so um, in, a, in advance, the yeah. In, the, sorting the pieces. Right. In advance, we actually had the Robinsberger team cut all the stickers on the sides because they're kind of hard unless you have a tool to cut them with. Um, and we didn't want sharp objects flying around when everybody's like in a in rush. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so they actually opened the box stickers for folks. So now all they had to do was take it out and then rip open the bag inside the box, which was intact. And so now everybody has dumped them out and they're starting that process of do they sort, not sort? How do they handle this puzzle? So why don't we cut to an image of the puzzle so everybody at home can get a nice good shot of that. So Harassi is gonna pull it up here. Yep, there it is. So this is called Fiesta Time. And this is a custom Robinsberger puzzle. Uh, and so you can see it there on your screen. It's a nice kind of mix of colors and bright. And so I think this is going to be a really fun one for everybody. What do you think, Jeff? That's very colorful. Looks uh, pretty healthy as well. Uh, <laughs> it does look healthy. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, you're right. It looks healthy. <laughs> but but, uh, but yeah, very, uh, very colorful. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll give folks a lot of little spots to start assembling. Right, it's right. not like the big blue right, one that we saw right. at the end of the team competition in 2022. Yeah, where, exactly. So this, this gives yeah, folks yeah. specific things to work on. Yep. No, I think this is a really fun puzzle. I love the design. I mean, obviously, I'm a little biased. I helped with picking these out, but I do think we try to pick things that are going to be just fun to, to put together. You know, I think that's like a super big struggle. But yeah, I think this is going to be fun to watch and see which areas people pick up on first. As a speed puzzler myself, I tend to just like, once you get those pieces all flipped and you've maybe pulled the edge out, it's up to you whether you want to do the edge first. A lot of people will do the edge first just to kind of give them a sense of where things are placed. Right. Um, and this is an easy edge to do. It should be very recognizable because you've got all these different things along the edge. So uh, yeah, I think that it, it's going to be really fun in that regard that, uh, you know, people can probably do that edge first. But, yeah, once you get them all laid out, I just kind of go, okay, what's catching my eye? Right. What's the first thing that, I want to grab? I think the papaya I think there, the papaya. that's exactly what I I think what that's going to be right. I think the papaya and actually the hat up in the corner, yes. that's a kind of a big chunk. The sombrero, so sorry, you can't see it very well maybe on here, but. Um, yeah, the sombrero might be another good starting point for folks. Um, I think, yeah, the papaya is going to stick out. But, yeah, you do have lots of nice little chunks that you can put together. So I think it's going to be uh, fast times on this one. I would love to see people, you know, out there making some predictions. You know, tell us, tell us what you think. Like, how long is this going to take? I think... 
you know, we have, like you mentioned earlier, Jeff, we have some really heavy hitters in this round. I mean, we do in every round. Of course. Right? And so, um, you know, we're got, we have Very people in here that can probably finish a puzzle like this in 45 minutes, something like that would be my prediction, but it'll, it'll be interesting. So this is a 500-piece Robin's Burger. So mm -hmm. the world record on a 500-piece is... Uh, yeah, I held. think I don't have the exact seconds in front of me, but yeah, Alejandro can finish one in about 34 minutes, yeah, right around it was that 34 time. 34 and yep. some odd seconds. Yeah. At Worlds in 2023, um, uh, one of the competitors, uh, Teresa from the Czech Republic, she finished uh, like one of the preliminary puzzles, but she had done it before. She mm -hmm. finished in just over 30 minutes. That's the wow. fastest I've ever seen. Okay. But it wasn't unreleased, it was one she had practiced. So that probably helped her along this. Nobody's done this before, so we'll see. So I know in 2022, the challenge was to get puzzles that hadn't been released in the United States before, mm -hmm. but there was a chance that maybe somebody could have gotten it directly from Germany. So you eliminated that chance completely. Right, yeah, exactly. And got yep. totally unreleased puzzles. So now that, uh, you know, You've worked with Ravensburger, and now they've been a part of this mm -hmm. event before that they mm -hmm. were able to have a supply yeah. of previously completely unreleased puzzles yeah. anywhere yeah. in the world to use. Yeah. There's going to be nine different puzzles yes. throughout the yeah. weekend. Yep. Three today, each of the uh, individual preliminaries, mm -hmm. of course, the individual final, mm -hmm. two pairs preliminaries mm -hmm. tomorrow morning, the pairs mm -hmm. final, and then the team final tomorrow uses two puzzles. Exactly. So that's why we have kind of a weird number of puzzles. We have eight competitions and nine puzzles because the teams get to do two 1,000 pieces, 1,000-piece uh, puzzles. We're also changing it up a little. So Worlds does this really, I actually think it's really fun. They give them four puzzles, the team, and then they have to choose the two that they want to complete. So it kind of gives another level of, you know, difficulty because it's like which ones are going to be the best ones for us to do kind of thing. Right. Um, but we don't have the luxury of as much time <laughs> right, so right. we uh we just decided we're going to give them two one thousands and a prescribed order so they're not going to know what the second one looks like till they finish the first one right. they're both going to be bagged separately so that'll be kind of interesting and i remember that from the from the team last mm -hmm. the, two or a year and a half ago 2022 there was three puzzles yeah and it was a together. marathon yeah five and a half hour right. marathon. so it's going to be tomorrow a little shorter three yeah. hours yes, so we're definitely right. cutting that time down i love this i'm seeing in the comments the food people were right <laughs> <laughs> so apparently there were folks out there that were like whoa is this going to be a food puzzle so yeah i mean you know that's one other thing we try to switch it up so it'll be interesting to see the reactions to all the different things that'll be coming out this weekend but yeah, it's I wanted to ask you about that. Do you mm -hmm. specifically now you can uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. sp specifically pick puzzles differently for the preliminaries than you did for the final that's coming up on Sunday? Were the you think the preliminary puzzles were maybe a bit easier than what the puzzles oh, will be? Oh, I can't say. I don't know. There's I don't want to. I don't want to spoil anything. Okay, there's Sarah Schuler yep. right there. So she finished third in the individual yes. final. In, yeah, 2022. in 2022, yeah, so and she's as a I top was saying, puzzler. She mm -hmm. ranked in the world, she's 13th. Yeah. Or in the United States. I yes. keep saying the world, Sorry. but in the, yeah, United, in the States. United States. Exactly. And we do just a few feet from mm -hmm. us, Karen Lauren Cotts, and she's ranked number one in the United States. Well, so she's ranked that in this. Are you looking at the USA Jigsaw yes. rankings? Okay, perfect. The yeah. So yeah. if you guys uh, want to see rankings for players, yeah, you can go to the usajigsaw.org website, and we have a ranking system um, for people who are members and who have competed in individual rounds. So there, it's called JPAR, JPA ranking, um, sort of like golf. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and so, yeah, you can go to that, and you can see where people are kind of ranked based on uh, the competitions that they've been doing most recently. So we update that with sanctioned events, and we have monthly sanctioned events through Jonathan Clough with speedpuzzling.com. He's one of the co-founders of the USAJPA, and he runs that. It's mostly virtual contests, but he also does uh, regional championships. And so those are all sanctioned events. So when people take part in those, we can use those towards their ranking. Mm -hmm. Now I see, Ka well, Kathy Reuter is sharing yes. the table with Lauren Couch I know, at right? Table 20. And she's <laughs> kind of mean. fifth we, in the know. United States. I know, we take so all the top the, people. The two of the top five are at the same table next to <laughs> yeah, each other. Yeah. 
that is just amazing. Maybe it pushes them forward. I would like to think it pushes them forward a little bit when they have another top player right next to them right. that they can see their progress out of the corner of their eye and then have to go, okay, how am I doing in comparison? So, and But, yeah, we do that because we kind of, you know, we try to make it so the cameras don't have to wander in amongst the puzzlers so much to just be able to capture the uh, top speedsters who are in the front the thing is though is that we have a lot of people in this room who have never competed before and we don't know where they're coming from when and how Roy fast they are the and Reuters so sisters right won the pairs yeah. in 2022 yeah, we're like, like going Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Ooh, they came out of nowhere <laughs> they were yeah, showed yeah. up fast yeah. yes exactly we, we didn't know so there's 50 tables here yeah with two individuals at each table mm -hmm. um and noticing um Lauren and Kathy here at table 20, they're both standing and hunched over. Yep. Bad for the posture, but I would say, yeah. but a, and a, especially in mm -hmm. the front row, most of them, say, most of them are standing. Row, most of them are standing, yeah. yeah. And that's Where? just a choice. I mean, some people puzzle faster when they're sitting because they're not worried about their back. Right. <laughs> Other people just, it. I, I like to puzzle standing as well. I'm one of those. Um, I feel like it, it lends an immediacy, partially because I'm like, I really want to sit down and be done because my back is killing me. Right. So I got to get this thing over with. <laughs> I got to go as fast as possible. <laughs> I understand. And right now, yep. of course, it's we're early into the two hours. And if they're only going to yeah. take a little over 30 minutes, mm -hmm. You know, it's not like the team competition where it's three hours and they're going to, you know, yeah, need no, it's to gonna, sit down. So right. hopefully their backs can take this. Yes, Me being exactly. the personal trainer, <laughs> um, you know, I'm You're thinking like, about great. the posture. Not great, <laughs> but there's really no way around no, this. No, right. So they're just going to have to stretch out and, mm -hmm. and do that later. Yep. So and there's Lauren and uh, Kathy. You can on, see them on yeah, screen amazing. Um, right next to each other. Just plugging along there it looks like so kathy kathy's got a lot of her edge most, done yeah lauren like, it looks like is just taking a different tack i can't mm -hmm. tell quite if she's working on the sombrero if that's what she's got going on um but yeah she's just looks like she's kind of tackling just separate areas right um, her, her puzzle yep. boxes and is yep. kind of blocking a little bit of our view there but uh the yeah, cameramen are I, yeah. doing, getting a some great shots there of the mm -hmm. folks they're wandering around moving around looking for <laughs> somebody in the chat said uh now i want mexican food for supper yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well lucky for everybody here we are having a mexican uh dinner buffet tonight oh. so <laughs> so we're having kind of a little party here and we're I gonna see. have mexican food there's so. tacos on yeah the sheet there. so everybody like will get to yeah everybody tonight will get their mexican food guacamole mm -hmm. i'm sure it wasn't uh yep Co an accident or a coincidence that uh, this <laughs> you puzzle. Think, in the do you think we, we planned it that <laughs> I would, way? Maybe, I would actually maybe think we, so. <laughs> maybe exactly. we planned it that way. No, it's it's. I can't believe how quiet it is in here. I'm used to worlds where, man, it was raucous in that place. Like there was a lot of talking and stuff going on. And so right. you know, our last nationals was 2022. So it's been two wow. years since yes. we we've done been in this space and everything. I think the carpet makes it a little quieter, maybe. That's but true. but yeah, it's really quiet right now. Like people are just they're, focused, they're, they're and focused there's and like no chatter happening. I guess mm -hmm. in the individual, it is going to be quieter though. You, teams and pairs probably they chat They'll a little. While they're, yeah, exactly. And, and then yep. there's, you know, maybe close to 100 competitors circling around here, maybe just a little less than that. And they're being very quiet out of respect for the uh, for the puzzlers. I'm just kind of looking to see who some of the other um, if some of the other top competitors, uh, uh, top rank folks in the United States are taking part in this competition today. So there's three. So uh, Yvonne, mm -hmm. uh, um, she's t she won. Mm -hmm. We heard we heard about mm -hmm. Yvonne earlier. She uh, she's in the third and final one of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, Karen Puzzles. I saw folks are actually asking about her in the uh, chat here mm -hmm. on of YouTube. Course, yes. She's taking part she's in the here. second. Pre she's, we can see her just yeah, off, okay. off. She's taking part bit. in the second yeah. preliminary. So that will be shortly after this one ends. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, we're going to have a guest, oh, so right. I was just going to say if uh, we'll get him uh, to come on over here in a moment. We're going to have uh, somebody famous joining us, so come on over. Yeah. Right. Yep. 
Yep. Uh, we'll get things adjusted here. here a little bit, but yep. Oh, okay. Here, yeah, come no, on you in. Yeah, you can go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank yeah. you. Goodness, right in the middle. <laughs> Do you need your notes here, Jeff? I can move stuff over oh, a little bit. I was going to say, I have notes? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who has notes for me? All right. Yeah, so we are joined by, I, just, I called you famous, because oh, you're the social media I guru mean, for Ravensburger. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> we have Jigsaw Joel joining us. Hi. Jigsaw yeah. Joel. <laughs> and I think you might have to turn the mic on, Jeff. Oh. Uh, no, yours is good. good. Yeah. Okay, I think... Mine's on. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. We're yeah. good to go. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. But uh, yeah, so, okay. Sorry to interrupt. But yes, tell us so far, what do you think? Are you oh, seeing I'm, anything exciting out there? I, it, the entire event is exciting. I yeah, love yeah. this event. I look yeah. forward to this event. Uh, the, the Two years ago when I came, it was, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but it was my favorite event. Really? And, oh, I Aww. love this event. I, I, love, <laughs> I love the people here, the community, mm -hmm. um, and it's just always so much mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I I'm feel so blessed to be here. Oh, so. thank you. Yeah. yeah, cool. Well, so, okay, you've done some jigsaw puzzle competitions. <laughs> I, I, I've dabbled. You've dabbled. I've, I've dabbled here and there. <laughs> so what do you think? What do you think of Fiesta dabbled. time here? Um, you, I love you, it. I love yeah? the colors. Yeah. Um, I think that it, it's great for, for sorting out all the different colors there. Mm -hmm. um, I think that there's a lot of variety in, mm -hmm. like, the, the shapes that are on the puzzle and the color. Mm -hmm. um, um, so I think it'll be, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Where would you start, Joel? Oh, where would I start? I, I, I always got to find the, the edges first, but as far as like within the... Yes, yes. Ooh. I mean, you could go in order of what you usually do, which is have chips first. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Start with the yeah, appetizer. Start with the chips and I mean, salsa. that would make the most sense. Chips and guacamole. I would probably look for the papaya. <laughs> That's yeah, what, right? Just because That's it's like so distinct, so distinct and it's so, and it's just like such yeah. a high contrast. Yep. Yeah. Such a high contrast. Yeah, it fits perfectly. Um, that yeah. I would probably go for that. Yep. Uh, That's what Valerie and I both said when yeah, we well, first saw I'm, it. Yeah, well, I'm learning something. Yeah, <laughs> you are. You've done this a little, a few times. After it's not your time. first rodeo. After yeah, you're, you're used to it What would now. you save for last? Because Ooh. a lot of the viewers on the live stream have said, you know, we want to know some strategies. They wanted us to talk strategy. They really enjoy that. Yeah. I mean, just because of, um, that's a very good question. What would I save for last? Um, I would say probably like the, the, the sombrero personally, um, just the, the white over in that corner, mm -hmm. I would probably say for last because I feel like it would be, um, pretty easy to sort because there's not a lot of that white. Um, and then all the other different colors would be easy enough to sort. So that's what I'd do, mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't consider myself a professional. <laughs> so. <laughs> so any predictions on a finish time? Oh, I no. Yeah, have you seen me puzzle? <laughs> Not for you. I'm oh, saying no, no. Fast. I'm just saying that I, I don't have any kind of fast. They're all yeah, so they're, fast. Yeah, they they're are all so fast. fast. I know. So, yeah, yeah. it'll be great. Yeah, it'll we're going to yeah, we're gonna have to get Allie over here at some point to give us uh, her, uh, her, her take. Yeah. She's pretty good at predicting times. I yeah, feel like she's, last Oh, time. she's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. She's like, she's a dead ringer every single time. <laughs> it's, a impre it's impressive. It is. It is impressive. Absolutely yeah, impressive. Yeah, because so. we've been at some other events yes, with you. Yes, yes. And that is one thing I want to do. Shout out to Robinsburg because you guys have really dived into the whole speed puzzling community thing. It's you're so sponsoring fun. Worlds. You sponsor this event. You're yeah. doing the live streaming. Um, um, and you guys ran a contest recently. We weren't there. Yeah. You had to run yeah. it yourself. Yeah. So what was that like? Oh, we missed you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we desperately missed you. It was a lot of fun, though. And, and it's like, and the thing is, is everywhere we go, mm -hmm. when we do speed puzzling competitions, people are, first, they're confused. They don't know what we're talking about. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And, and then they're <laughs> so intrigued. And there are mm -hmm. people that are like, Oh, I wish that I could have signed up for this. And, mm -hmm. and like, and they're always super engaged, and they mm -hmm. really, really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So it's it's so universally just like loved. Yeah. And even when people have never heard of it, yeah. they get so excited about it. Mm -hmm. And on my way here, telling people, yeah, I'm going to a speed puzzling competition. It's just people get so excited and so interested because <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. it's so unique. Yeah. So yeah, I've got those exact same comments yeah. uh, by Facebook. Pay, mm -hmm. I posted and I said, I'm going to get to co-commentate. And mm -hmm. somebody 
one of my like high school friends goes, "That's really no." It, it, it's a I remember who it was, but it, she's like, "That's really unique." Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> well, that's it is like here Minnesota in San Diego. Nice speak for yeah. weird. Yeah, yeah. It's like, that's really you know where, that's how unique. did that happen? That's always, when I that or and, that's interesting. Yeah, it's also Minnesota 20, speak for mm, yeah. twenty in twenty twenty two. When I told my mm. even my friends, the first question I got from like three different people was. Is there a lingo you have to learn? Is oh, there a that's jargon? a good one. Is there lingo, Joel? I there is. Know. I mean, is I feel like with any kind of like... I'm too immersed. Like, I don't know. Like subculture, there is like... Yeah. There's like... There are like... I, I learned like a cardinal sin is like you don't like... You don't put other puzzle pieces on top of like your puzzle while you're mm -hmm. making it. Yeah, I, I learned right. that. I learned that. I didn't. I I well, knew that. okay, but yeah. you know, I, there are always those people who go against the grain. Because recently, I watched. So, if you're into the puzzling community, you know who Kristen Tuve is. She's mm. the Nor Norwegian player who goes to worlds and dominates, and she always has a unique style. Sure. And she's been posting on Instagram, you know, like time lapses and and videos of herself like finishing these puzzles. And I noticed that she will put pieces on top sure. of the puzzle <laughs> not only put pieces on top but assemble pieces on wow. top of completed puzzle and wow. i'm just like she just takes the rule book and just throws it oh, out yeah. the window and then we all watch her and go wait a second and then she's finishing puzzles in 30 minutes yeah. like what is going on here well, I, think, I think it's similar to sort of like you know like with like rules of like storytelling or things mm -hmm. like that there's like a set rule but yeah. then once you master that then yeah. you can break them right, right. Like, then you right. can like I then you can like do too. it your own yeah like, and, yeah. and it, she is obviously mastered that yeah so. yeah i'm excited are you gonna get to go to worlds finally I, in 2024 i hope I so we I, want you to go yeah, because you I would, would love, love watching it's yeah. so much fun yeah. But yeah, there are things like that that people have kind of their own like rules yeah. or strategies and like one that, you know, I love to talk about with my team is that we a rule is you can't say you're sorry mm. because otherwise you're saying it every two seconds mm. as you run into each other and <laughs> That's you get kind of tired of hearing like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's a good um, rule. That's <laughs> you a have rule. to be comfortable in each other's space yeah. when you're doing that team thing. Yeah. You've done some team yes. comp yeah. contests. What's what's it like for you? Is oh, it stressful? Is it fun? I think it's fun. I yeah. mean, I like, mm -hmm. I I love puzzling and I, and I especially love it. And I mean, I feel like this is pretty common for a lot of people like I started puzzling with like my grandma so like like that hmm. was like where I started so it's like very communal like mm -hmm. talking and sort of like banter of like wait no that's my piece and like you know coordinating with like I'll take care of the edges you you start sorting like mm -hmm. it's just I think it's a lot of fun yeah, oh, yeah. it's a lot of fun yeah, yeah no and you 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 learn a lot about a person oh, when you speak absolutely. puzzle absolutely <laughs> oh absolutely <laughs> yes and I mean um, two years ago when we had the marathon mm. it was like five hours worth of puzzle oh, yeah. you I really learned, learned a, lot, learned a lot, about lot about my colleagues <laughs> 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 we had some very territorial puzzlers well so. that and the filter kind of disappears oh, after yeah. a while right so oh, you're just yeah. telling each other all of your secrets <laughs> yes. coming up yes. Yeah. Okay, this is really exciting. So they're showing Lauren oh. as as uh, uh, Jeff mentioned earlier. She is a number one ranked puzzler in the United States, she and she is working is on that sombrero. You guys, fact, we were right on that. But the papaya, really? the papaya is not together yet. No, she's got them piled there, and they're ready to go. But she hasn't put it together. Yeah, lo it, yeah looks yeah. like it. Looks like she has another kind of one area there. It looks pineapple. Is that like a little there, thing of pineapple or something? Um, a little like yellow bowl there no, that's going. There's a, there's tortillas and there's oh. the chips. So oh, yeah. the two. Okay. So well, she's and yeah. And, and the, she looks like the guacamole bowl she has mm -hmm. she had going there too. And I feel like that's a completely like a different strategy that is completely valid is like tackling the thing that like I feel like the sombrero would be the hardest part for me mm. so like taking care of that and then just flying through the rest yeah right like while you have that yeah. stamina and like that mental capacity <laughs> at the beginning, you know <laughs> right. to like sort through that and yep. to piece it together and then just fly through the things that right. you've sorted it's right. also like one of the things I've noticed is that sometimes you'll take something like that you'll be like okay I'm doing the sombrero because yeah. it's over here and it's big and it's easy for me to grab those pieces sure. and get started but then it is a bigger chunk so you, instead of working with yeah. 25, 30 yeah, pieces, like, you're working with maybe 150 pieces or 100 pieces. You know, it's maybe yeah, like 80 to 100 pieces yeah. you're working with. There, there, so look, that could a, make it 
also challenging. So from my perspective, if you start it and then you're like, oh, it's not actually coming together that fast, so I they would move on and come just, back to it. Sorry, they mm-hmm. just showed Sarah, and she does have the papaya about completely oh, done next to her okay. there at the table mate. Yeah. I also want to mention, I've been kind of looking through the national rankings and mm-hmm. seeing who else is competing. Yeah, sure. Mary Black is also at table 18, I mm-hmm. believe, with Sarah Schuler, and mm-hmm. she's... 11th in the United States in the rankings. So we have, you know, a nice representation of the top ranked puzzlers in the United States all in this round and, of course, spread throughout the second and the third preliminary heats Mm -hmm. later today. So we'll Mm -hmm. kind of keep an eye on those just because they've proven to be really fast. Right. But just like with the Reuters that came out out in 2022 that no one ever heard of them and they dominated. We we had heard of them. We had heard of them, but they hadn't been to like a big. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They had done some competitions and were incredibly fast, but it was sort of like an under the radar thing. And then, you know, yeah, they hadn't been to a big one where everybody was kind of there to see them. So yeah, it was, it was a shock. Yeah. Yeah. But they won by like 20 minutes or something. Yeah. It was, they just blew. Not even close. Yeah. (laughs) So I don't think we're going to have that with this puzzle. I think it's going to be close, which is, you know, the volunteer judges, that's their worst nightmare is that people are like a second behind each other. Somebody's finishing on the other end of the (laughs) room. Exactly. On the other end of the room at the exact same time. But yeah, how it works is the volunteers will kind of, you know, lurk. I like to call it lurking (laughs) around the team, around the folks that are getting close to finishing. And then they're looking at that clock. So the minute the person says done, they're writing down the time and noting what time that is. And then, uh, you know, if it just so happens, somebody across the room is the exact same time, then it's a tie. So we have multiple volunteers. Yes, exactly. (laughs) That's why there's so many people in yellow vests wandering around because we might have a lot finishing at the same time. But yeah, when we were breaking down the divisions and going, okay, who's going to be where? It was like we would look at a division and say, wow, that's going to be tough. And then and then we'd look at the next division and go, oh, that's going to be tough, too. <laughs> I mean, there's just so many good competitors Great in the U.S. right now. Yeah. 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 So it's exciting. Yeah. All right. So I see this lady at table 38. I don't have the list up by table number. I think that mm-hmm. might be over there somewhere. Um, but anyway, she has the sombrero almost done as well so mm. a few oh, of them okay. are going with that yeah. even though yeah. Valerie thought that might be saved for last and you yeah, thought or you thought hard. that yeah. might be actually yeah. Valerie thought Valerie thought maybe after the papaya that mm-hmm. the sombrero might be the next mm-hmm. uh the, highest yeah, I target think, on the folks I do list. think that's attractive for people to want to put yeah. together because now I think somebody oh. had mentioned this is Abby um I don't have the list in front of me here uh uh, is it Abby Patno that's at the uh, number one table, I think, that's on right now? Mm-hmm. That is yeah. table number one. All right. So the papaya is done on that mm-hmm. one. And yeah, it looks and like she- I know folks at home are probably like, tell us everybody's name and who we're... Mm-hmm. It's, right. it's a little well. hard for us to see. <laughs> <laughs> and we're trying to kind of keep things moving, but we will try to, if we oh. know and, and can point out who's who, we'll try to do our best to do that as we I go here. List after all of the table numbers. So it, yes. Oh, yeah, she had the papaya Abby already. Pat- Abby yes. was done with that. And now who are we looking at her. here? Is that 75 that I'm seeing in the mm. corner there? Can you hand me the list so, on the far end there, Joel? Thank oh, yeah, you. please. This one? Ah, okay. whichever. Whichever one's by t- uh, This is oh, by table, table number. number. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. I think so we have I two see, of those. Yeah. Um, Great. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so. Looks like Gray Rogers is. T- is Gray here it's like on, on this one? Oh, okay. So Gray Rogers is at table 13. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Gray. Yeah, yeah Gray you was, might remember Gray her. Very well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and she was. Oh, was she? Yeah, okay. she was yeah. one of the top finishers in yeah. 2022 yeah. in a yeah, couple of different was. categories. Yeah, yeah, she, she was. was. So we we need to watch her as yep. well. Yeah, yeah I th- believe her team got third in 2022. I'm trying to remember what she got as an individual, but she was up in the top. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. she, she always is. Yeah, she yeah. is. She's really yeah, fast. She's phenomenal. Yeah, we, know, we do. I know she came mm-hmm. from Shreveport, Louisiana.
Louisiana. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I remember a few of the <laughs> sure. hometowns. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's one thing we haven't mentioned yet is the prizes. So we yes, we yes. made a, a big announcement yeah, today because we we had been keeping it on the down low. I mean, partially because we were like, okay, are we gonna have any money left after this right. weekend? <laughs> we are a nonprofit, so right. we gotta you know be be good about it. But yeah, so we announced today we're go- we're doing some major cash prizes for the top places. So the first place individual is gonna get a fifteen hundred dollar check. Uh, first place in pairs, they'll they'll get a thousand dollars each, so two thousand for the pairs team, and then a three thousand dollar prize for the team, so seven hundred and fifty for each of the four people that are on the team. So hopefully, our idea with that is maybe that helps them pay for a plane ticket, so sure. they can get to Spain and compete in the uh, World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships in 2024 in September, mm. um, because you know it's not cheap going to Europe, but. No. Luckily, Spain, though, once you get there, it's not too bad. It's, yeah. the, it's the getting there part. But then once you're there, the meals and the food and all of that, it's pretty reasonable. And Alfonso, who's here, the organizer for Worlds, he tries to keep it pretty affordable, too, for people to participate. That. Yeah, great. yeah. That's so great. hopefully uh, that'll help the folks that win today or this weekend to go on to Worlds. We'd love to see them all represent. Yeah. Yeah. And we should probably uh, take our second break here. Oh, sure. Yeah. Let's so do that. we're now right hey, at the 29 minute mark of this right. two hour competition. Mm-hmm. So we're about a quarter of the way through. We'll have an hour and 31 minutes left. Um, but right now we want to hear from some of our wonderful sponsors without whom this competition and live stream would not be possible. But don't go away because as soon as we come back, we're going to give you another keyword to enter on our website if you'd like to win a prize. And we mentioned there's going to be 16 keywords Mm -hmm. throughout the weekend, so you can be entered 16 times in the Sunday afternoon's Mm -hmm. raffle. So I'm Jeff Whittle, along with Valerie Coit and Jigsaw Joe Strolnick, and we're live from the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Nationals here in San Diego. From the moment that we met, you were. Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know. Mm-hmm. Coming to you from San Diego, I'm Jeff Whittle, and this is Valerie Coy. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank you for watching us on YouTube and Twitch all weekend. So we're offering our live stream viewers the chance to win a prize. Viewers at home can go to jigsaw.usajigsaw.org, click on the live stream prize banner on the home page, fill out the entry form, and this time enter the keyword jigsaw 
for the chance to win some amazing prizes. This time the keyword is jigsaw. We gave out one earlier today, but we're mm -hmm. not going to give that again. Mm -hmm. So you're going to want to make sure and mm -hmm. uh, go to the usajigsaw.org mm -hmm. and enter that. And, and yeah, so we're a, uh, we're a little we're over 30 minutes. Yeah. 30, yep, 30 and here's the thing. Like, I thought maybe we'd start to see finishers in like 10 minutes from now, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So what we're going to do, I'm going to step out momentarily. Allie Krasny, she's been wandering the floor looking at what's going on. And uh, she's one of the board members and our MC for this event. She's going to jump into my place and just kind of give you guys a quick rundown of like what she's seeing out, out, out in the competition space. Perfect. So, All right, we'll see you back here soon, Valerie. And come on in, Allie. Hello. So another uh, co-founder of the USA JPA and board yes. member. Hi. Hello, how's it going? It's good. You did a wonderful announcement from the stage. We, Thank of course, you. saw you there. Yeah. And now you've been wandering the floor, scoping out what's going on. Yes. What do you see? Um, well, there's been so much going on. Um, both with the competition and just organization. <laughs> so I was like, I wish I had a little more time to actually look at how it's going. Um, but I did, and it's not going quite as fast as we thought it was. I think I just heard Val say that. Yes. I feel like people are maybe about halfway done or okay. so. Um, and yeah, we're at 33 minutes, so it's a little trickier than we thought. I was gonna say, it just depends on the difficulty yeah. of the puzzle, and that's it's, hard to guess sometimes. It's so hard, you know, we think we know, and then we do that. The same thing happened with the World Championship in 2021, I think. Um, that puzzle, long story short, we had actually seen uh, one of those puzzles in advance, and thought, oh, that'll be super easy, and then <laughs> we ended up doing it, we were like, Oh, we were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was not super easy. No. <laughs> so, so we have some, you know, top competitors here. Just, to, you know, Gray Rogers is in this preliminary yes. round. Melinda Whiting, Sarah Schuler, who's just over yep, there. We're yep. keeping an eye on. She was the third place finisher, finisher in the individual final right. in 2022. Mary Black, mm -hmm. uh, one of the top rated uh uh, uh, puzzlers fastest in the United States mm -hmm, rankings. Mm -hmm. We've been looking at the, some of the rankings. Kathy Reuter, who's fifth in the uh, U.S. rankings. Mm -hmm. Lauren Kautz, who's number one in the J-PAR, so and she is right here on the end. So uh, we also have Jennifer Lucher. Oh, yeah. Um, those are I just some Jennifer, of the ones we're keeping an eye on. So what, what have you seen? Jennifer was on a team, I remember, I think it was last time, and we really didn't know much about her mm -hmm. at that time. So her, and I think it was her mom, did pairs and they were a little bit of a dark horse. They oh, kind yes. of were off in the corner and we were like, oh man, they're getting close to finishing. Yeah, they, so They were like second or third in, oh, in like wow. the pairs. Yeah, we had no impact. idea. So we're excited to have them back. Excellent. So did who do you think from what you've seen is um, seems clearly is doing well yeah is doing well i think i was looking at sarah oh yeah i was looking at sarah and i think she's sitting are these the table numbers sitting Those next are the to table. Yes. mary black i yes. think um the their puzzles are looking the strongest from what i could see i didn't get a chance to check out gray's In puzzle fact, it yet looks like there's oh yeah uh, sarah and mary right there oh, on man. the screen oh this is so interesting so sarah it's... has the papaya done as as <laughs> most of as Valerie and I both figured mm -hmm. would but also they're they're zooming in a little bit mm -hmm. more she has the uh, the uh, uh, sombrero I'm drawing a blank there <laughs> uh, looks like she did has the, the bowl of, of your, the bowl of, of chips your Mexican yeah, words before she's got the tort the bowl of tortillas there as well so she got the and it looks like the guacamole down there in the middle on the bottom it sounds delicious right now yes it does that's actually what we're having for dinner tonight for the convention pass holders Val mentioned that <laughs> exactly so what is so dragon fruit, dragon fruit. Yeah. so it's like the purple with the black dots in mm -hmm, the middle mm -hmm. she had that done as well yeah. so what did you think of the puzzle here I'll pull it up Oh yeah, between us. I, there we, we go. When we picked this one, we thought it was going to be pretty fast, and we, I don't know, if, did Val talk about why we picked this one? No, she did not. Oh, so we, I love a good theme. Anytime we're picking the puzzles, I'm like, yeah, but how do we make it, you know, maybe be on theme or something? Um, so we liked that since we're in San Diego, 
we thought that you know um, there's a lot of Mexican food here we're so close to Mexico Tijuana, so that's a yeah. big part of the, the culture here so we thought why don't we um, why don't we choose uh, a Mexican meal to kind of go along with being part of San Diego so um, yeah, so we thought it was kind of fun. A little local twist here. Exactly, exactly. And People might remember that the finals puzzle last year in the individual. was also San Diego yes, related. Yeah, Skyline. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No, so. that was awesome. The Hotel del Coronado, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Cor I think it, El Cortez, and, yep. and uh, Coronado the tower, Bay Bridge. Balboa Tower. Balboa, right, mm -hmm. Balboa Park Tower. So for you, what mm -hmm. would your strategy be on putting this puzzle together mm -hmm. if you were doing it? That is a good question. Um, mm -hmm. I guess I would, I think on a puzzle like this, I, I'd move around quite a bit. I would kind of, I, I mean, like you said, it looks like the papaya is maybe one of the easier ones that stands out the most. Um, and really just as I'm finding, like I don't do a full sort or anything like that, but as I'm kind of seeing, oh yeah, there's a bunch of orange, I grab that section. Um, and but I might get distracted by the guacamole or something like that. So for me, it'd be kind of piecemeal, um, no pun intended, piecemeal <laughs> the whole time. And so, um, so yeah, I don't know if that's the best strategy, but I think that's probably what would end up happening for me. I can tell you that the spectators were um, have said, I think Kat Dilks said she likes this one, so she's afraid for the next one. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> because, and she likes this one, she thinks the next one will be worse. And I just got the thumbs up from Jonathan from speedpuzzling.com. He said he's excited that he gets to, um, gets to purchase this puzzle from Robinsberger because they have all of the puzzles available for purchase um, at, their, at their store. Um, as soon as the puzzle's announced, then people can purchase it if they're not in that heat. Right, so, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So uh, also, in case folks didn't see your earrings, oh. I wanted to point those out. Those, yes, exactly. Oh, yeah, the earrings. Yeah, yeah. I got these from the, the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Um, the That's the biggest competition in the U.S., um, and that's in Minnesota, and there's um, 200, 250 teams for that, and these were some of the prizes um, that we got. So, yeah, I've gotten a lot of compliments on these. We think they're probably a Springbok puzzle. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, <laughs> yeah. from the shape and all of that. Yeah, the, there's like a, a very trademark red color oh, on the back okay. of some of the older Springbok oh, puzzles. Gotcha, so, uh, gotcha. So does Sarah Schuler, being from St. Paul, have a home court advantage, hometown advantage in that winter carnival? Um, I don't know if she has an advantage. Well, probably because um, she doesn't have to deal with the time change. Right. I feel strongly she about that. She doesn't have to travel. <laughs> That's right. why I've been in San Diego now the past yeah, two times because you live in San yeah, Diego. Yeah, it helps me out. I wish I were competing because <laughs> anytime we go back to Minnesota, I'm getting up two hours earlier than oh, everyone yeah. else <sighs> in my body. So, um, yeah, I think there is a small advantage. <laughs> But yeah, we also think that's why so many great puzzlers come out of Minnesota. Um, being in the Midwest, we both know um, that there's, you know, there's not a lot to do during the winter months. We, I pointed that. <laughs> and so that's something that's, you know, that's something we did in our childhood. And we yeah. did it a lot. So yes. we've built puzzlers in the Midwest. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not surprised. The, that's yeah, sure. the, the weather is conducive to puzzling. Yeah. I was saying in you know January and February here in San Diego, mm -hmm. you can still surf and golf and mm -hmm. all of that, so you're less likely to yeah. puzzle hardcore like yeah. the Minnesotans. Exactly, do. though it's weird because since moving here, that's when my puzzle career <laughs> exploded. <laughs> um, so that's I, I certainly never thought this would be I would be on a live stream talking about puzzles <laughs> ever. <laughs> But that happened when I came out to San Diego for some reason, so, you know. I think COVID was probably yeah. really the biggest driver. Yeah. That's something none of us yeah. saw. Yeah. And maybe let's take a moment and mm -hmm. talk about how, you know, people being forced to stay at home and not even see each other, how yeah. puzzling could actually, ex you know, explode. Yeah. Yeah, so and even it, the online. Yeah, that was a huge part of it um, growing. We think there were all these virtual competitions that popped up that never would have popped up otherwise um, because people would want to do them in person or something like that. So all of a sudden we had people connecting from all over the place and on Zoom, and that was the only thing they had to do. So they dove in really hard. And so 
there was um, some of the Pacific Puzzler stuff and stuff I had been involved in started a little bit earlier um, in like 2018, but I think 2020, uh, back then, there were like two events that I knew about, and now they're everywhere. <laughs> it's <Thousands>. crazy. <laughs> so um, when we know it's just the start of things, too, it's, it's going to expand more. Right, right. Excellent. All right. And so I think... I think I'm going to um, head out yeah, now okay, and go make sure that I make announcements when I'm supposed to. It looks like okay. we might be getting um, closer, and um, right. Val can, can fill back in. Give us another update. All okay. right. Great to talk to you, Allie. You too. We'll Thank see you again you. soon. And that's Allie Krasny, <laughs> one of the four co-founders and uh, board members of the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association and now back is yeah. one of the other co-founders Valerie Coit who was just mm -hmm. uh, did you get a I chance did. to look around the floor and I see did what's look going I on? took advantage I didn't go like have a coffee or something I actually <laughs> looked around at what's going on and I came back as much as I love that Allie's getting a chance to chat and talk to the folks out there um, we're getting close we okay. are going to have a finisher soon you're seeing Sarah Schuler there she's got oh, that little oh, section oh, left oh, I think oh, she's oh. currently in the lead um, I'd say right after her, though, on her heels is Mindy Whiting, who's a couple okay. tables down at the yep. same table as Gray. And then uh, Kathy and Lauren, who are just right here in front of the live stream table at, at table number uh, one and two. They are, no, sorry. Actually, They're it's at, 19 yeah, and 20. 19 and 20. They are also just really cruising. But I As think, we kind of suspected yeah, because they're all yeah, highly ranked. Yeah, they're all ranked. high ranked. But we do have a couple sleepers. Good. We have a Good. couple of people. Actually, table one, the Abby, uh, there you're oh. seeing her there. And she's also cruising. You can see she's just got some little spots here and there left Abby open. Patno, yep. Right. And then there was another person. I think his name was Travis. He was like kind of just behind Abby a couple tables down her. Um, and he, I think his, yeah, I'd have to double check what his, uh, what his name was and, okay, and you know, a, what table number, okay, but I well, think we we're going to see, we yeah, I here. think we're going to see him finish, or maybe it was Chad. I think it was maybe oh, Chad. Chad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't see it. All right. And yep. so Chad Troop. Yeah. So I think it was Chad that was, was also doing really well over there. So, yep. So yeah, but yeah, we're seeing now, you know, Sarah's really narrowing in. Which is exciting. Um, so Sarah placed uh, she was third, third at, in, the in 2022. Final. Yep, but she was a top competitor for the U.S. at Worlds. She did really well in one of her uh, individual preliminary heats. She was like right on Alejandro's tail, which was so exciting because here's the world champ Alejandro, who's like this phenom. And then you know Sarah was right behind him, and we were so excited watching the two of them go head to head. And she also finished. And then she, she yeah. was on like. The third, she was on the first place team. Yes, ex uh, uh, no snacks. Yeah, yeah exactly. She at was the on the last first place team, nationals, and then yep. she was, I think, fourth in the pairs. Yes, fourth because yeah, uh, she was so. one, three, and four yep. in the three competitions. So yeah. she, yeah. So we know Sarah's super fast, and we know, and, uh, yep. Yvonne Foyt, I think, yep. what they ended up doing is they were both one oh one, yeah the, all in the top yeah fourth and the other yeah, so yep. points wise mm -hmm. uh, oh she's getting Brian so close come up with his little uh you know, system his, of his like yeah yeah of, of averaging out the rankings averaging and, they yep. tie and there's abby again with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. wow. yep but yeah you can she's see really abby's close. really cruising through it too but yeah i think i think we're looking at a win from sarah probably right. for this division but keep in yes. mind this is just the pre preliminary so this is just determining who will be in the individual final on sunday uh so that is the final competition that we have we kind of build up to the individual final all weekend and that'll be sunday afternoon and so the top 30 33 from this division will move on. I do think we're going to have, you know, it's surprising. Looking at this puzzle, I thought, oh, people are going to fly through this. But, you know, here we are. We're at 46 minutes. We would normally have finishes right now if this was an easy, easy puzzle. Right. So it's not easy. I don't think it's as easy as we thought it was going to oh, be. And here it go. That. Look at that. Just a couple left. pieces left. This is the time when you're so nervous because you're like, is somebody else going to yell done right when I'm putting in, like, the last three pieces? Yes. And she's just like, can't even... Oh, oh, somebody else finished. There. Oh, Kathy Reuter. Oh, wow. Oh, Why? It was seconds. My oh, my gosh. That was incredible. We didn't have Kathy on, but here she snuck in there and she finished. <laughs> so you're seeing Kathy Reuter right there. She placed first right oh ahead of Sarah. My. I thought it was going to be close, but I thought it was. Yeah, they were a couple the seconds apart. 40. 
Yeah. And then Kathy is so funny. She's so quiet. She doesn't like pound the table or yell or anything. <laughs> and so she like sneaks in there and finishes. But in there now we're seeing Abby again. She's getting close. But yeah, so there we go. We got one and two, Kathy Reuter and Sarah Schuler. So that's exciting. And right around the 46 minutes something mark or yep. 47 right around there. It was there both in the 46 minute mark. Yep. So... Yep. We'll get the official times entered in, and that will be. Yep, uh, and then we can reference the screen, those. Yep. Screen here. Yep, and we're gonna have. Um, oh, they were literally. Seconds, oh, so close to each other. Yeah, apart. just so close. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, you guys are uh, gonna have to keep an eye on the website. Um, if you go to the World Jigsaw Puzzle Federation website. Um, we have a tab under results. It's Nationals 2024, and the results will start to be entered immediately. So we have a head judge, Tammy McLeod, our board member. She's the one who accepts those times as they come in and then puts them in and updates so you can see as we go how the uh, so results are turning World out. WorldJigsawPuzzle.org. Oh, we got another one. There we go, oh, Lauren Kautz. Lauren yeah, Kautz. Lauren, and she was at that it's table right in front of us, yeah, right next 20 to Kathy. something. Mm -hmm. So the the top three are going to all be within two minutes of each mm -hmm. other approximately. Now, there's 100 individuals taking part in this first preliminary. Mm -hmm. And as Valerie just mentioned, 33 will move on to yep. Sunday's final. Yep. We have two more preliminary heats coming up today. Yep. It'll be the same rules. Different puzzles. Different we puzzles, of course. Different time, of course. We, <laughs> yep, we yep. can be seeing different times yep, depending yep. on yes, how they exactly. find it difficult. Yep. So, so they're not competing Reuter against each other in the different divisions. They're just competing in their division for right, a spot. Yes, right, exactly. Get, oh, here we go again. Another oh. 4650 and 4653. Three oh, three seconds, seconds apart. Yeah, so if you go oh to that my. results page on the World Jigsaw Puzzle Federation site, you can see the results start to be in there so now the, they're the Reuter sisters are from Duval Washington so mm -hmm. Kathy was in this one and won yep and Abby sister, finished look at that Abby just, Abby so, just finished so 49 that's 30 ish mm -hmm. wow. so I think now we're at like four or five that have finished so we're and yeah you know it's gonna be actually getting in that top 33 that's right that's, that's kind of right. tough because we have a lot of really fast people yes, here we do. i think when we were planning these divisions we were like okay you know we don't have rankings for everybody cause some people this is their first time right. or they've never done a sanctioned event so we don't really know where they're at and we were like well probably about the first 25 or so we kind of know about and have rankings for and they're all fast. And so you think about 33 puzzlers are moving on and you got the first 12 or so tables are filled with fast people. It's going to be, it's going to maybe be hard to get into that final division. Yes, it is. So only one out of yeah. every three right. people in this competition. All right. We're going to go to Allie. She's going to announce. Yet. All right, everyone, keep on puzzling. But we wanted to announce we have our top four winners so far. We have Kathy Reuter at 46.50. Great job, Kathy, on first place. Three seconds behind her was Sarah Schuler at 46.53. And just a short time after them was Lauren Kautz at 48.22. And not just more than a minute later was Abby Patno at 49.24. She's table one. Great job, you guys. We've got, we've got uh, standings left for two more people, so puzzle as fast as you can. There we go. Yeah. All right. 22. Allie just made the announcement of the top four. And so here we go. Now we're watching some more players go here. They'll probably come fast and furious now. Yeah, maybe. So I mean. Maybe they were these... <laughs> We're Tends really far waves, ahead, yeah. but we're 50, mm -hmm. little, about 51 and a half minutes in. Yeah, so they still have an hour and 10 minutes for those who are still working. It's a two-hour uh, time that they have to complete the puzzle. Um, it's a little more time than at Worlds. At Worlds, it's a step up from that. You have an hour and a half in the individual division, which for me, super stressful. I would assume <laughs> Finishing all in an hour and a half <laughs> is stressful for a 500-piece puzzle. Well, certainly, certainly. Yeah, the people yeah. out there, when I told, mm -hmm. you know, my friends some of the mm -hmm. times because people would ask they go well yeah. how long and i'm like they do a 500 piece puzzle in under an hour and they're right? like that you can't do that 
you can if you're one of the fastest in the United States yes. or the world. Yep. But you would think that the mm -hmm. 33 qualifiers who move on or mm -hmm. finalists who move mm -hmm. on will all finish within the two hours. Oh, of course. Yeah, okay. I think for sure we'll have that yes. many. Although, walking around, I am surprised at how hard this puzzle looks. When I first looked at the image, I thought, yeah, that seems like a pretty doable puzzle. But when you see all, all right. the pieces spread out in front of you on the table, uh, it's a lot of peppers. <laughs> <laughs> And they all look alike. And I was like, you know, it's a little harder than it looks. Those pieces, there's a lot of pieces with a lot of color on right, them. The and it's like, how do you? Yeah, yeah. So it was a lot of pieces with a lot of color on them. And it's a little harder to sort, I think, than it looks initially. So, you know, it's it's maybe not as easy. Oh, oh look at go. that. We got another finisher. And what table? Let me see. Oh, 16. Okay, that's okay. table 16. That looks like so Sarah. Sarah Ullman. Ullman, yep. Awesome. Another finisher. That's awesome. But no, I don't. Well, okay. Let's see. And then who is this? Oh, it's hard to see. Sorry, folks. I wish I could see the table numbers, but okay, so 45. Abby Patno so is from right here in San Diego. Oh, awesome. Congratulations. They have a to big her. speed puzzling community in San Diego. So, and this is Eric Goulet at uh, table 45 there. He's getting close to finishing. That's a name oh, I, yeah. I'm not familiar with. No. So here we go. He we got has somebody about 10 pieces or I've, so left. I'm not familiar with, and he's he's killing it. That's awesome. It's great to have these, uh, mm -hmm. you know, unknowns. People get in there, yeah. yeah that are, that and look, are really he's fast. doing the thing that Joel was saying. He's like, he's, he's got pieces on top of his puzzle. And you're he's, right. But, you know, I do think there's some maybe good strategy with that when i watch it's kristen i think close. i think it's keeping it close and so it's all within your field right of vision and right next yeah, to the, the exactly opening, so exactly say, oh, okay this yep. outline fits right here so yep, that that's is exactly a, it that i think a, that's part of a strategy for people a, I, mm -hmm. you're right. to me the p the pieces kind of disappear when it's colors on top especially of colors especially there right you're right but for it's other not, people look it's at these two uh, here it is and Yay, there it is. 54. Yay, good job, Eric. -ish. Yeah, another one under an hour. All right. Nice. Oh, and here goes another one. Now, who is that at that one? 18. That's table 18. That's Mary Black. Oh, yeah, Mary Black. All okay. right. Okay, she's number yeah. 11 in the U.S. in the yes. rankings. So nice. Oh, my gosh. They're, they are finishing quickly. Kathy Reuter That's won one. Duval, Washington, I think the Let's Seattle see, area. This. Trying to refresh here. Yep. Get our and results refreshed. Number okay, we've two got six is Sarah Schuler from St. Paul. Mm -hmm. Lauren Kautz oh, from yep. Minneapolis. Oh, yep. Got another finish coming. Two, so two Min Minnesotans at second and third. Then Abby from San Diego, mm -hmm. Pat No, Melinda Whiting, who's mm -hmm. Cottonwood Heights, Utah. What table so is she's that one of the top okay. uh, competitors in the U.S. And she was on one of the top placing teams. Sarah Oman. Yep. From on puzzling, but we just wanted to announce. She yeah, it's 71 there. You're seeing Linnea Shai. She just finished. So nice job, Linnea. Awesome. And in sixth place is Sarah Oman at 53.05. Great job. We have uh, 33 spots for everyone to um, proceed to finals. So keep on puzzling, and we will... So right 50, now? We're at 56 minutes right now. You've got over an hour left. Great job, you guys. Keep puzzling. Eric right. Boulay, 7th. Mary Black from Cambridge, Massachusetts. All right, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, so here we are with the uh, results screen. What you can okay. see if you go to the website, um, you can see we've got the top eight people in there so yeah this is where we're getting the information to right. we're about <laughs> so we have about one uh full quarter yeah. of the finalists mm -hmm. that we know who are yeah. going to be already yeah. in sunday's yep. uh, competition some of these may be competing in the pairs mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah that's the other tomorrow. thing you're right and yeah the team mm -hmm. of course those will be separate competitions oh here's gray mm -hmm. okay and she's close she's gonna finish so that's Gray Rogers. She's been a top competitor here at Nationals, and she is just awesome. There she goes. Yeah. All right. Nice work. She looks exhausted. She does, <laughs> and relieved. Oh, and there's Josh Traeger. Oh, yeah, there's Josh. I know him as well, and he's a great competitor. Oh, my gosh, so many people just 
killing it here and getting in under an hour. It's a tough puzzle to do in that amount of time. Nice work, Josh. All right. That's great. Yeah, beautiful puzzle now that it's finished. A, <laughs> a typical quiet Robin finish. Burger. Nobody's yelling and screaming. I think I would yell and scream if I finished. I'd be like, <laughs> look at me. Look at me. I'm done. <laughs> He's being polite. He's being a good puzzle neighbor. <laughs> no, that's great. And I love, you know, we have a pretty good group of spectators going on in here, that's Jeff, really which is nice to see. It is. Um, all around the, and it's kind of a bummer. I feel bad they're seeing a lot of, you know, the backs of people right, <laughs> because, right. you know, we need the live stream and cameras to all be able to access so they can actually get into the competition area, the spectators, but they can kind of gather all around the outside to, to watch what's happening. So some are, you know, family members of mm -hmm. folks that came from elsewhere. Yep. Maybe, or teammates for a different or division. Oh, right. or, yep. mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Or maybe a few folks from San Diego wandered in. I right. tried to put maybe. out the word to, right. to people saying, yep. come on down, bring yeah. your kids. Right. Because I had a couple of people after last time, they're like, I wish I would have known. I would. My kids love puzzling. And so I think mm -hmm. a few of them are going to be here this year throughout yeah. the three day, maybe especially on the weekend. So, you know, we, some folks are still working. Mm -hmm things like that mm -hmm. and it looks like we're getting oh we're getting on maybe an, and I think that looks like Jeff Scott maybe okay. I think that is Jeff yeah and, and Jeff was on the Jigsaw Junkies team I believe in 2022 like, okay. um, that placed in the top so but yeah Jeff is also yeah a really strong puzzler okay, I'm gonna try to check the chat yeah. here we haven't had a chance to look at it it's been so fast and furious with finishes here so great Gray was fifth in the individual final. Mm -hmm. And is Jeff in there see. last time? He's, I just I like he was printed here, out but the maybe, top the yeah. first page. Okay. So, Sorry, no. I don't have it right in front of me. It's hard to keep track of all of it. But yeah, yes. we'll try to have some more stats on folks. So some people are talking about what was the hardest part of the puzzle? Maybe the fajitas. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, it's just a little harder than I think we expected it to be for folks, but hopefully they enjoyed it. I certainly hope so. Mm -hmm. We can maybe get, once they've, uh, mm -hmm. those top finishers mm -hmm. get a drink of water yeah. and, yeah. Uh, you know, maybe have mm -hmm. a bathroom break mm -hmm. or something like that, that they can uh, yep. come over and we can chat with them a little bit about that. Puzzle. Yeah, no, we will start to try to get some of the finishers over to talk about their experience here so we can Great. interview them and have them available so you can maybe ask questions in the chat if you get a chance. Um, and we'll try to, yeah, just kind of find out how they did and what their experience was like and let them say hello to their friends and family at home that are maybe watching today. And I know I have in my. I have. Oh, I know we I have, have another. Anything. Somebody just oh, finished in the middle of the room excellent. back there. Yeah, I missed it though. I just saw the hands go up and a volunteer's writing writing it down. Oh, right. So yeah, we have volunteers oh, all over the here. room wearing the yellow vests. Cameraman, is, this is going to be the final. Oh, yep. Okay. Here's another finisher. Oh, and Jeff is still going there. I don't know who that is at Jeff's and table. There it is. Nice. Good job. Excellent. Oh, great. Perfect. Sounds good. Yeah, so Kathy Reuter is coming on over. She's oh, going to join us here. Okay. Uh, Horacio, I'll move over to the side, maybe. So, Kathy, here, I'll move over. Okay. Okay, we'll put her in the middle for now. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Hi congratulations. <laughs> Should you turn the mic on? Uh, yeah, this on. Oh, yeah. Is okay, yeah. Back? No, congratulations. Thank yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's crazy close. Three, yes. three seconds yeah. over three Sarah. Seconds. And you well, were right next to each other. Yeah. Did, what yeah. did you think at the end? Did you think you were going to be able to? Uh, did, what I, did you think? That you were going to edge her out or you weren't sure? I 100% was not believing that I could. <laughs> <laughs> that, that front row there was stacked. Yeah, I yeah. There's so many fast people right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Definitely keeping track. Well, and yeah. what's funny is like the cameras were on Sarah because I think they were like, oh, she's going to finish first. And oh, then really? all of a sudden you just like didn't even make a noise. And we just saw you st like kind of stand up and it was like, wait, Kathy's done. <laughs> so that was amazing. 
<laughs> you gotta yell, Kathy. You just gotta be like, you know. I gotta remember that too because yeah, this, the last time we were at a competition, mm -hmm. they were like, nobody knew. <laughs> Gene and I were both like, you gotta, you gotta, gotta work on your end yelling. game. Okay, you gotta work on the end game. Got it. <laughs> silent but deadly. You're the yes. silent killer. Exactly. You know, <laughs> it's like a shark. Just like, <laughs> That's right. All exactly. Pops up just and you're like, well, <laughs> yeah. Well, so tell us about the puzzle. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that puzzle was really fun. Um, I, I loved it because there was always something to be working on. Mm -hmm. uh, you could always go around. I tried to start with that sombrero because I'm like, oh, it's really bright and blue in a nice big section. And then I ditched it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny because I talked about that. I was like, I, I know what I would do. And I would grab all the blue pieces and I would start the sombrero. And then maybe I'd be like, oh, that's too hard. And I'd go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I had pulled them all and put them in mm -hmm. the center because I was going to really? work out in there. Okay. And I finally broke my frame and shoved them all out because <laughs> they were just getting in the way. I'm like, I'm not doing yeah. this part yet. That probably was a decent chunk of pieces, right? Yeah. Like maybe 80 or so pieces yeah. or something. And yeah. So what did you get done first? The, I want to say that's a papaya. Is it a papaya or dragon fruit? Did we? No, did we find, I think oh, we said the dragon well, that, fruit. Yeah, was there's the, the dragon one. fruit. Yeah, You're no, right. so, okay, yeah. And that's what Valerie and I, when we first saw the puzzle, yep. I said probably the papaya. Yep. And we both said the papaya, yeah. so that yeah. ended up being yours. Yeah, well, it was papaya, a winning strategy. It, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the papaya, the chips, and the tortillas. Right, yeah, they're all right. the only like yellow oranges. Oh, I made right. a joke about do you start with the chips because that's how Mexican food works. <laughs> When you go to a restaurant, you start with the chips and salsa. The answer is yes. You always start with the chips. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, are you in the mood for Mexican food now? Because that's what's for dinner tonight, just so you oh, know. Perfect. It's a perfect match then. It is. Yeah. It, it, it wasn't a coincidence. <laughs> and, beca and and Allie just told us that because we're in San Diego and Tijuana is only, mm -hmm. you know, Makes literally sense. a suburb to the south of us here, that they wanted to have a little local flair, just like the the individual in 2022, that puzzle was the San Diego skyline. I love that yeah. puzzle. That was yeah. a great puzzle. Yeah. Oh, thank you. It's on the cover of our program. So I, know, I, 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 I recognize that one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I we bet. still have ours because we bought oh, it yeah. after. Oh, nice. Um, oh, OK. So yeah, it's yeah. still one we do all the time because it was a great puzzle. Yeah, oh, it is a fun right. one. I've done yeah. it multiple times as well. I don't know if I'll do this one multiple times. <laughs> it's a little it's, harder. It's actually really fun, though, because yeah. again, there's always a mm -hmm. section to be working on. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the the blue wood tabletop, how was that to do? Well, I, it was next to last for me, oh, and there's so another. most of it was already built in. Right. Um, it, it, but oh, it oh. wasn't bad at that point. I mean, there's only like two or three pieces that are actually just the table. Just the mm -hmm. table. Everything else has an edge of something on it. Okay. Sure, sure. Gotcha. I see uh, Mary Carty just finished. I, that's exciting, yeah, for Mary. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be interesting because, you know, it's only top 33 that are moving on. No. Were you at all worried, Kathy, that you were moving like, forward. am I going to make the cut? No. <laughs> no I was going to no, say. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Good. I know you're yeah. modest, but I'm glad you at least said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. Your, your sister, now you and your sister won the pairs last, last Yeah, in mm -hmm. 2022. She's competing in, I, I didn't look ahead. She's in B. She's in the next one. She's mm -hmm. in B. Okay. Yeah. So we'll. Look for her. Yeah, yeah both are of you, you are in the like, top ten. I'll be up in the room, or do you watch? <laughs> no, I'm in puzzle chess. <laughs> oh, you're in puzzle yeah, chess. Yeah, I'm in my, my okay. puzzle chess bracket is right against her start, so oh, I'm gonna okay. try and come down after, after that. Yeah. Okay. And then I definitely want to watch. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, Great. that's exciting. It is. It is fun to watch. I mean, I yeah. know. And, you know, live stream viewers, obviously, you think it's fun to watch because you're watching. But yeah. I think in general, people are like, really? Is it fun to watch? It is fun to watch. <laughs> it it actually really is. is. Yeah. So you're fifth in the U.S. rankings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you've seen, and your sister is eighth. Yep. So we'll, uh, Kathy, Jean. Yeah. Jean, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Kathy. Uh, so we'll expect her to do really well in the second round as well. She should. Now mm -hmm. the pressure's on her to win her division. <laughs> yeah, her, but you know? man, who she's up against? I mean, she's got she's got Andrea and Kelly and I don't know. I, I think is Vaughn in hers? Nope, Vaughn's in the third, third one. Yeah. I yeah. do know that. Mm -hmm. um, Karen Puzzles Karen's is in the, in the second yeah. Yeah. second yeah. one. Yep, yeah, and if anybody watched Karen Puzzles, she posted a video kind of previewing nationals, and I thought it was so great because you know last year Karen Puzzles got second in the yeah. individual. She like really killed she it, did. and that was her first big competition was that year. And then um, in her you know video of preparing for nationals, she was like, well. So I was excited when I saw, you know, initially who was in my division. And then I started going down the list and realized, oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> she named all these people and was like, so maybe I'll come in fourth. <laughs> but, yeah, it's tough. Every division mm -hmm. has some really top puzzlers. And it really comes down to the image, the right? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I mean, can you talk about that? I mean, because I do think it's yeah. interesting. People are like, is there rivalries or whatever? But it's not really that way. It's not rivalries. No. And it's great, too, because I finally got to meet some people here who I hadn't met yet. And mm -hmm. so, like, Mari, uh, sitting right next to me, it was, you know, getting to talk to her beforehand. Mm -hmm. But for the puzzles themselves, yeah, it's more about what kind of image it is, right? Mm -hmm. So I do better on like photos or hard clean graphics. Other mm -hmm. people do really well on busy photos where there's mm -hmm. busy pictures where there's just a lot going on, like the wor uh, national mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. yeah, the world's finals mm -hmm. for pairs was a very busy puzzle. Yep, yep. <laughs> but yeah, mm -hmm. so it, it really depends on the image more than anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're kind of competing against yourself and like what yeah. you're good at. Yeah. And you know, you're trying to get your own personal best and like, yeah, just do as well as you can on that image. So yeah, it's a really lovely community because people are sort of like, oh, that's a puzzle she's gonna do well on. Yeah. And it's not like nobody takes it personally. <laughs> There's not really rivalries because one puzzle somebody might do really well, another one they might get 10 you know you just don't it just depends on it, the image. Yeah, yeah you never know who's going to win and right, it's always a right. toss-up and that's yeah. what makes it fun yeah it is yeah. it is fun and it's exciting to just see like how people respond yep yeah so being a personal trainer how do you how does your back and shoulders and neck feel after knocking out you know a puzzle in 46 minutes and you were the one of the ones all the, it looked like most of the fastest ones were standing up hunched over. Some of the folks are sitting mm -hmm. most, you know, a lot of them. You are. have very good how posture do you now. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, yes, no, it's deliberate because of that. Like after after one of those puzzles, I always try to stand up right. Good, <laughs> good. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Keep great. Really yeah, because otherwise you just find yourself totally hunched over. Yeah, but yeah, yeah no, yeah. you can feel it by the end for yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 46 minutes of that, I bet. Yeah. yeah. I bet. What and about when you get into a team situation and you've got two 1,000 pieces? Are you standing for all of that? Or you do you actually give yourself, like... It depends. Yeah, we really? try to, um, well, it, I guess it, it's more about the moment. But mm -hmm. uh, we have found that most of us do do better standing mm -hmm. if we're trying to speed. So okay. people, you'll see people standing up. And with mm -hmm. teams, there's a lot of shifting around anyway. Sure, that's true. So, and it makes yeah, it easier to easier. shift if you're all standing. That's yeah. true. And chairs get in the way of the other three who are trying right. to move around. Right, so. right, right. We actually have one of our sponsors here, so Lift Your Table. And the whole idea is that you get these table risers that go up really high so you can puzzle at like counter height and you aren't bending over and like hurting your back. I saw those upstairs. Yeah, yeah. They look yeah. really nice. Yeah, we <laughs> set some up in the convention area for people to kind of try out. But somebody asked, like, are you going to do that in your competition? Like, put all the tables up. And I was like, murder. People would be like, no, I want to sit. Like, what are you doing? Right, right. <laughs> so, so it's just, you know, we try to keep the conditions the same for everybody. That's why we have the tablecloths and the white tag board, because, you know, if you've ever rented tables before, you know, not not all two tables are, are all alike. So we we make sure the conditions and the surface are all the same for everybody versus if somebody had a really nice smooth table and somebody else's was like messed up or something. So that's why uh, we do it the way we do it. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that, yeah, that good. you guys level the playing field for everybody. And if yep. you want to stand, you can stand, but yep. most people do prefer to sit. Yeah, right. yep. I I agree with you. I think I go a little faster when I stand because of the almost like urgency of it. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if I'm practicing at home, I usually stand. Right. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you practice quite a bit leading up? We, um, I did do a bunch of Ravensburgers again because um, I hadn't been doing any in a while and I'm like, you mm -hmm. know what, I should probably pull some back out and get used. Mm -hmm. they, I mean, they have such a great, unique touch and feel mm -hmm. and style cut to them. Sure. So yeah. it's just a very tactile, tactful, tactilely pleasant puzzle to, yeah. to work with yeah. for Ravensburgers. Yep. Robinson. And they have the, you know, the, the ribbon cut or what yeah. we call the standard cut. So, you know, it is a specific type of cut for all of their puzzles. So helps to get used to that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 I, I do, I, I do love a odd cut. Yeah. Oh, you do. I You're do. a random yeah. cut person. I do love a random cut. Oh, me too. I like the random cuts too. That's my favorite yeah. to put together. However, it's over the years now doing so many Ravensburgers, it has kind of emerged as my new favorite, but <laughs> yeah. it used to always be the random cuts. But yeah, we just saw somebody see she slammed that the table. That was Linda yeah. Hirschfeld. I'll remember that. That, remember that. <laughs> that was Lin yeah. Linda Hirschfeld at <laughs> table 38. Congrats, yeah, and, Linda. yeah, congrats. And we're getting there. We've got uh, currently 24 that are entered, but now we're gonna have a few more added. So 25, so we're getting close, so we're to, that getting close to that cutoff. Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. right, so we're wondering, mm -hmm. so we're at an hour coming up on an hour 12 into mm -hmm. the competition so we'll have 48 
minutes left. Mm -hmm. But if you don't finish in maybe an hour 20-ish or so, yeah, you might you're not, not going to advance, yeah, perhaps. Yeah. Well, we're going to bring some other finishes yep. over, but thank you thank so you. much, Kathy, for yes. joining yep. us. And it's great having you are here. Are you taking part in pairs I am. with your sister? We are. We're going to oh. try to defend. Oh, yes. Oh. Defending oh. champs. Awesome. We'll be are you on the team? Yes. Yeah. There will be seen She'll be in all of them. Yeah. We'll yeah. All of them this year. Okay. All right. Okay. Excellent. We're so glad. Yeah. Thanks, Kathy. Good luck. All right. Yeah. Good luck in the rest of the competition. All right, we are gonna be joined by our second place finisher from the individual competition, Sarah Schuler is over here. Hey. Welcome, Sarah. Hi. Yeah. All right, well, tell us how it went. Yeah, that was great. First, I need to say thank you to Puzzledly for sponsoring me and getting me here, because <laughs> I could not go to all these competitions without the support of my sponsors. So okay. thank you, Puzzledly. Good, good, get that in there. Yeah, gotta have it's to. like a movie star course. situation. You gotta plug the movie. Exactly, yeah, seriously, <laughs> plug it in. Congratulations, three seconds Three behind. seconds. I'm, you know, I'm very okay with that. You're okay yeah. with that? Yeah. Very okay with that. Were you shocked because it was like all the cameras were on you and you're probably was, like, oh, yep, it's going to be me. And then you've got like two pieces left and somebody else is like, <laughs> No, I, I was kind of confused at who won because oh, I were. heard people start clapping. But like at Worlds, people will start clapping a few seconds That's before true. sometimes. They would get like the anticipation the took anticipation over. Claps. And they start <laughs> clapping before somebody's so finished, like, which is so confusing. It's like, so either I got second or someone just finished ahead of me. I just feel bad then that there's no cameras on Kathy. <laughs> well, they did kind of get her off to the side. <laughs> you were next to each other, right? But yeah, yeah. But I, we already warned her. We're like, Kathy, you have to make some noise. You're too quiet. She's very quiet. Yeah. And then I slam on the table. Oh, totally. Yeah, are. yeah. You yeah. like <laughs> announce to the world like, hey, I baby, bad. I'm done. Mari, I'm sorry I slammed on our table. You were still going. <laughs> we, I thought that I was far enough away that I wouldn't be able to hear you guys during mm -hmm. the competition, so I didn't put my headphones in, uh -huh. but I could, so Mari oh, and no. I talked. So, oh, Mari you and did. I chatted a little bit. Um, so, yeah, maybe yeah. that yeah. could have been the difference. But I'm sorry not. if you can hear us it's over okay. here we talking love, about you. Yeah, yeah, every it's time all I nice. hear my name, well, it's, especially because it's you, Val, and I, yes. I know your voice. Oh, yeah. so it, like, I'm your is it, I'm yeah. your puzzle aunt or puzzle mom? I puzzle can't mom remember. when okay. my mom's yeah. not here, okay. she's here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I now I'm met your mom. Yes, she stopped me in the hallway. Here. That was yep. wonderful. Lisa. Yes, yes. For those of you in the live chat, you all love Lisa. Everyone loves Lisa. She's the best. Is she still live chatting while she's She might be. She might be. She might be on the phone with my dad, though, too. Okay. Yeah. We got some reaction video, apparently. Nice. From me when I was winning. and she that's exciting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, winning second place. <laughs> yes, yeah, no, Kathy. <laughs> okay, those fajitas, man. So, I was just gonna say, tell us about so, the puzzle. Yeah, break down. What's this? Your so, what did you think when you first unwrapped it and saw it? Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Because we all know me and photography puzzles. Yeah, you don't like the photography ones. You like those illustrations. I love a an illustration. More, yeah. I love a bit. I love a busy puzzle though, and this was mm -hmm. a good busy puzzle. Um, today I was very sorting mood, so I was just throwing pieces into sorting piles. Really? Not after I flipped over everything first, and yeah. then I started sorting things out and throwing it kind of where it went in the puzzle. Um, but yeah, those fajitas at the end. I'm a vegetarian, and also like get sick if I eat peppers. So oh. that was like a double whammy of <laughs> like things I don't like. We knew that. That's yeah. why Meat we gave exactly this puzzle. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Specifically picked them for me. I know that's how it works. No, yep. just <laughs> but yeah, it was it was honestly a very fun puzzle. Oh good. Um I mean it's stressful when you have to do it in front of America and also a bunch of people the in the room and yeah. they have pressure on you. But it was it was a fun puzzle. There's so many different textures mm -hmm. and and you know, yeah. it's just, it was colorful and bright and the bowls mm -hmm. were really fun because some of them you probably can't tell if you're at home, but some of the bowls have patterns around the outside edges. And so you would sometimes see like a little part of a zigzag and be like, mm -hmm. oh, that goes with that. Oh, there's Minnesota open oh, there. Oh, you guys, <laughs> I just looked at the results. We are at 32 finishers. Oh, so the my. next one oh that we God. see on screen is going to be the last, the last one, one to, to make it into the finals. <gasps> yeah, we have 32 people who finished and so far. And we're at a minute or an yep. hour 16 a in. lot of Californians in this in this bottom like Glad you know last 10 that. or so puzzlers yeah Amazing. so Jessica Osborne was oh, the 32nd okay, yep. and now here yep we're gonna mm, I wonder if anybody's like neck Everyone, and neck for that final the spot at the end yeah and if people are wondering I know you know it's we have three heats 33 people advancing in each and then that last 
hundredth spot. We've we've just dedicated that to Yvonne Foyt, the champion from 2022. All right, so she doesn't oh, have to. That's a good yeah, show. so she, she a, doesn't have to worry. She'll automatically advance. But does she have to do one of the? She still has to do good. the qualifier that's because, fair. of course, we want to see her puzzle. You Gotta know. tire her out a <laughs> little bit. But she could literally <laughs> just sit there and be like, eh, "I'll just do this whenever." Casual. You know, like she could be casual about it. I don't think that's gonna happen. No. Like in golf, like if you win the Masters, okay. you get an automatic exemption for the, like the next five years and some of the tournaments oh. are that way like any individual one if you win you're automatically entered for the next year even if you fall low in the rankings or whatever so maybe that's something mm -hmm. new so sarah what did you start working on first then on the <laughs> what puzzle did, what did i start working on first because i honestly don't remember um the onion really stood out to me <laughs> it was literally four pieces but i threw those in there right away <laughs> and then like of course the papaya everyone kind of did that one right. the dragon fruit was very bright and like has a very distinct pattern i sorted out the sombrero thinking i might work on it actually i think the first thing i did was put together the sombrero like there's like little oh we have lines. reached the 33rd okay oh who is it uh, it i don't know person? i'm finding out right now it's gonna be in oh there it is uh i'll refresh sorry refresh, sorry refresh, it was refresh. on the screen oh yeah it was emily uh, what's Emily the last name? Gans. There's an Emily, Emily Frost. Gans. Emily Frost. Yes, Emily Frost oh, finished yeah. hour. Okay. Oh, wow. So the, the hour puzzler. and 15 was the cutoff, basically. Amazing. You were right, Jeff. It was going to be right around there that people would like have to finish in <laughs> yeah. order to move on. Well, so that's exciting. We've, we've got our qualifiers. Amazing. And Amazing. so we'll compare that to the next two preliminary yes, right, rounds yeah. and see. But see, that gives folks a, at least yeah. an idea. Now mm -hmm. the puzzle may be what's considered easier and the times may be faster yeah. or a little yeah. slower. Yeah. But yeah. now yeah. you've all set a benchmark in the first preliminary. Yeah. And do you minutes. feel like that was a fast finish for this puzzle or do you feel like... For this specific you know? puzzle for mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. I'm not great at photography. Mm -hmm. um, so I think this was a very good finish for me at 45 ish minutes. I don't remember yeah. what my actual time was. Somewhere I can in there, tell you. 4650. Oh, 46. Yeah. Okay. So almost 53. 47. Sorry. 4653. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah, this one, I mean, it's a, it's I mean, that's an tougher. admirable time. 46 minutes is yeah, fantastic. It's great. Like yeah. I hope to get more in like the thirties mm -hmm. on competitions, mm -hmm. but yeah. you know, you can't yeah. every time. Wow. Oh, Emily, now. Good oh then another finisher. Oh, I mean, Honestly, if it were me, I'd just be like, if I can finish the puzzle in the two hours, I'll be happy. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's honestly, that's a good goal. That's a huge even accomplishment. Just finishing a puzzle. Right, that's like, true. Yeah. yeah. I've yeah. been doing a lot of amateur, one. Um, hosting the amateur speed puzzling contest mm -hmm. at breweries in Minnesota. And like some, one of the puzzles, it took an hour and 15 minutes for the first team to finish. It was a hard puzzle. Uh -huh. I, I did a bad job picking that one <laughs> specifically, but... It's just anyone finishing it, I think, yeah. is just wonderful. That's what I've noticed, too. If you go to things and somebody's new to it and they're not particularly your class, it's just fun to be able to, like, say, like, yeah, we sat down and we didn't quit and we finished it, you exactly. know, within a certain amount of yeah. time. Like, that's an accomplishment yeah. in itself. Well, thank you for yeah, joining us, Sarah. Yes, I'm sure you. we'll see more of you. So, this are you weekend. in the pairs? Pairs and teams, and yeah. it's my of hometown course, course. team. Oh, oh, we're so no. excited. St. Paul, yeah, the, you guys yes. get Twin ready. Area. Twin She's got yeah. the We Put the Betch in You Betcha. Yeah, is that the, the Betch in You Betcha. The Betch, B E T C. Yes, the Betch in You Betcha. Which is You Betcha is a Minnesota yep. saying, or like a North, yeah. uh, Midwest kind of saying. But yep, and you guys oh, dominate. This this team like dominates at the St. Paul Winter Carnival Contest, which is one of the biggest in the country. Or mm -hmm. the biggest in yeah. the country, so you guys are going to be the ones to beat in the team team yeah. contest. We're excited. Yeah, and who's I'm your excited for you. partner? Lauren, that was third oh. place. Oh, so your oh, table my. mate is and your Paris partner? Or no, no, she was, was with Kathy. Yes. That's right. Yes. Lauren, Thank goodness. Yeah. Okay. Lauren it would have been such a. <laughs> it would have been. You a, wouldn't have gotten second. You would have been too busy talking. Oh, the whole time. We, we definitely <laughs> we definitely uh, talk to each other while we're puzzling and. Lauren's ranked number one in the U.S. She, she is. Okay, she won the Minnesota Oh, Do you think did. you've got a chance with so Kathy and too. Jean? Is it going to happen? Are we going to dethrone? We've already dethrone? had one face-off. <laughs> so we lost that face-off. So yeah. it just it really depends on the puzzle. Yeah, right. That's it a does. Minnesota hockey yeah. term. Face off. Yeah, face yeah. off. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm yeah. so glad you sat down with us. Yeah, thank Thanks you guys. For having. Yeah. Thank you. We'll, we'll see, see you later. more of you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good luck. Good luck in the rest of the weekend. <laughs> Oh, there's another. Oh, gosh, we're just like on camera. So Every time I look up, I see people like, yep, they're finishing. Yeah. People okay. are finishing. Yeah. So all of the finishers, though, from now on mm -hmm. will not advance, but maybe they'll be in, you know, they have the pairs, mm -hmm. preliminaries and the team. So 
They may not be done for the weekend, but yeah. won't be advancing to the individuals. Yep. Hi. Hi. I'm Jeff. I'm Josh. Josh. Nice, yep. to, meet nice you. to meet you. I have not met you before. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, another finisher. Right. Yay. <laughs> oh, that she yells. See, I like that. <laughs> we need more yelling. This room is too quiet right now, right? Very quiet. Tell us, Josh, was it too quiet? Did it seem like, oh, goodness, this is uh, stressful? <laughs> So I've never been at Nationals before, okay. and I could hear a lot of what you guys were saying over here, which oh, no. might have been a, a little more distracting than I was expecting. <laughs> oh, but I'm not a headphones person, so okay. I, I just, yeah. it was fine. Yeah, okay. A little quiet, but once people start like getting close to finishing, you can see judges moving around. Yeah, yeah. The excitement builds a little bit. And yep. Gives yep. you that extra motivation to mm -hmm. finish through, which on this one seems like a lot of people are finishing with the skillet of fajitas in the middle. And, <laughs> and, uh, it was yeah, right, tough. Right. So the fajitas come last. Yeah. That's the that's the last bit. And so yeah, Josh took 11th place. Uh, you're from Cincinnati. He finished in 57 minutes, 17 seconds. How are you feeling about that time? I'm good with it. I, yeah. I moved on. That was my goal. So, <laughs> yep, you're in exactly. the final. So that is the goal. Um, looking at the puzzle, what would you have thought for top times? Because I actually thought it was going to be a little easier than it was. I think it's um, it's to me what? it looks fairly well, easy. The but then uh, it was like 40, 46, 46, 50, 50, 50, yeah. 46 about, I mean, it's busier than you think it is. Yeah, that's kind of what I was noticing with all some, the pieces on the like on this, spread out. The, Bottom right, top left, and the middle mm -hmm. are darker than you think it's than it be, looks yeah. on the box okay. for sure. Okay. So yeah, you know, everybody struggles with the mm -hmm. darker images. Yeah, yeah. So Josh, you compete a lot in teams. When I compete, or sorry, in pairs. When I compete with my friend Mary in pairs, if we beat the Traegers, we're very excited. <laughs> so, and it's you and your mom, right? Yeah, that me and do my the mom. pairs. Yep. Is she here? She's not. Oh, okay. So you gotta say hi. Is she watching? Uh, I think she's watching. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom got me into puzzling. Is so. that how? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we would always. There was always a puzzle on the basement table growing mm -hmm. up, and mm -hmm. then like over breaks and whatnot. Yep, yep. Always do puzzles every Christmas. Still mm -hmm. do a puzzle. Yep. Um, do you so. get a special puzzle? Because my family every year would buy one of those Christmas spring Christmas box, thing. right? And then we would do that over the holidays. I uh, sometimes she buys one. Mm -hmm. If not, we pull one out that I've yeah. accumulated at this <laughs> point. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. But yeah, you're a formidable pair, you and your mom. Like every time if like I said, if I compete with my friend Mary and we're and we're we're like, oh no, Josh Josh and his mom are there. We're we're not gonna win now because you guys do really, really well. Since, yeah. Since Did you, you know that you were fast? Like uh, when you were puzzling at home with each other? No. Um, really? Yeah, we went to our first local contest in twenty nineteen mm -hmm. and it was just the two of us and Beat teams of four and five. Wow! But there's not much puzzling in Cincinnati. So oh, really? Okay. It's, we're finding more people, so that's yeah. that's exciting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we didn't know we were fast. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I sometimes like my mom would probably come to this if I asked her, but she also knows that. Mm -hmm. Due to circumstances, she's not as fast as she used to be. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so. no, I mean, I'm not. I, you know, I blame my now, like, aging eyeballs for yeah. not being as fast <laughs> as I used to be. I have to have, you know, the bifocals yeah. on and, and all of that. So it does make a difference for sure. But you still love puzzling with your mom, right? Yeah, of, of course. course. My mom is actually here. So, you know, she's awesome. joining us this weekend to check it out. So are you mm -hmm. competing in the pairs even without your mom? Yes. And who are your, who is your partner? Uh, Jeff Scott. Okay. Oh, Jeff. Yeah. Jeff is another good player. Yeah. So. so our team name came from my mom, actually. What is it? Oh, uh, she's a nurse. and mm -hmm. So she always referred to males when we were making trouble as uh, broken chromosomes <laughs> xy instead of xx so, so that's your we are the broken person. chromosomes <laughs> love it love it so. well people at home you're gonna have to be rooting for jeff and josh because they're gonna be ones to the, be in the, oh, the, the pair to beat 
Uh, first we're or in second? the second heat the tomorrow. Second, second heat, heat tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. okay. Yeah, we'll be watching you. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks Great. for yeah. joining us. Thanks for yeah. Having yeah. Me on. yeah. And congratulations right. okay. on 11th place. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice, nice work. Meet you. Okay. Yeah. We'll see you uh, tomorrow then, yeah. in the competition. And we're just going to keep the guests coming. We've got another person <laughs> here that finished really quickly. Abby Patno is joining From us. San Diego. Yep, right here. All right. Yeah. Welcome. Hi. Yeah, you're a local, and here you are, fourth place. I couldn't believe it, honestly. <laughs> oh, and another picture. Yeah, that's awesome. Got some cheering happening right behind us, everybody. So, yeah, Abby, so is this your first national championship? No, Were you actually, here in 2022? I, comp I competed la last time. Oh, you did? Yeah, I was I was really excited just because it, for it to be local. Mm -hmm. I was um, I was 16. It was literally like two days before my, right. seven, now my I 17th remember. birthday. Yes, yeah, yeah. And I got 24th overall, mm -hmm. which uh -huh. I was, like, super happy about. It was just like awesome yeah and i thought okay i want to at least try to place a little bit better like I, w I wanted to just like make it into the finals and i just couldn't believe how, that i got like top five yeah yeah <laughs> like yeah. that's huge yeah that's yes, huge it is. yeah that's to get yeah. closer to the Amazing. mic oh no you're sure. good yeah yeah but uh <laughs> mm -hmm. So what part of San Diego do you live in? Uh, I live in Rancho Penasquitas. Okay, mm -hmm. up to 15 a little yeah. ways. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I live in San Diego here. Yeah. So yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 And I'm, um, I'm a college student. I go to oh. SDSU, San Diego oh, State okay. University, which is Excellent. awesome. Mm -hmm. So it's just like I've been able to... I, I like puzzle in my dorm. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, it's just, I just am always puzzling. Yeah. I have to ask, what do other college students, when you, do you tell them like, hey, I'm a speed jigsaw puzzler and I'm really, really good? Like, what uh, do they yeah, say? Yeah, actually, in, <laughs> I've talked to people who work like the front desk of like my dorm building and they have like puzzles going. And I remember like saying like, oh yeah, I do puzzles. And mm -hmm. then I like helped her out. She's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pro. <laughs> I, I can't, I, it's hard to imagine that word. Are they just now like, I don't even want to puzzle with you. Like, no, <laughs> like this is embarrassing. No, I think I think I just like appreciate it because it's like okay. it's kind of a random skill to just have. Sure. Yes, yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. Like I just, it's just like, hey, I'm a competitive jigsaw puzzler. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, you're going to have to get like a, a shirt and the whole thing oh, yeah. so you can represent. And then because I, I do notice that if I wear any kind of gear and I'm out and about, people will ask inevitably like mm -hmm. what what is that a, a puzzle contest you know so do you get that a lot um honestly no i think i just sort of i don't really i, I tell people like uh -huh. i do puzzles but it's not like the first thing i tell people oh, right. it's okay. like it's like hi hi it's not I'm your Abby. whole identity yeah no but it definitely is one of them like i've told yeah, classes yeah. and sort of like what's a fun fact about yourself it's yeah. like oh i do jigsaw puzzles competitively yeah. like oh, awesome and i've had people where they go so is it like a speed thing? Because they're like oh, a yeah, puzzle yeah. competition. It, I, if you don't say speed puzzling, they're yeah. like, yeah. so like, what's the competition? They go, yeah. is it for like the fastest? And I go, yes, yeah, I guess yeah. I should have mentioned I've, that. I've had to do that as well. <laughs> Well, it could be. Uh, there's a competition in Belgium. It's a 24-hour competition. Oh my gosh! And obviously, it's speed, but it's more like it's who puts together the most pieces because you just keep. You finish one, you grab another just, one. That feels more and like just, an endurance challenge. Yes, it is. It's a 24-hour team relay kind of thing. You can have multiple members, and you wow. kind of swap in and out. You know, I think you can have eight team members and four at a time compete for over a 24-hour period, and it's just whoever completes the most pieces in that 24-hour time period oh is the winner. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I would love to do it someday. It sounds like super fun, but I don't know. If so the all-nighter, that would be rough. A cot there and yeah. food, you know, <laughs> oh, yeah. so four sleep, puzzling. Sleep, sleep in shifts. Yeah, yes. exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. So tell us, what did you think when you saw this puzzle? I just thought, cool like it's it's food it's more like of a realistic image which I, I wasn't sure about because like sometimes when things are more cartoony like the individual puzzle from last year it was just like right. that feels a little easier but there's a lot of different textures and stuff like I started I was sorting out like the border of course but also with like the sombrero and the papaya the dragon fruit the chips the lettuce just like kind of mixing things up and I sort of built around that so I already had a good amount in the middle done as I was doing the border so I just kind of kept kept going and figuring stuff out thankfully it's not too similar like of course there's a lot of different like kind of varieties of salsa and stuff but there's enough difference I think in the textures where you can tell like oh that that's the shrimp that goes there oh that's 
like a corn I don't know relish what that type is. of corn? thing. Yeah, I think it's a, it's <laughs> I don't a corn know. relish. I can't tell it. Okay, yeah, that's I'm what pretty it is. sure. Oh, like Educational. a Mexican street corn. Yes. Maybe? Yeah. But yeah, the, this this peppers. These the, this was the last the part I did. There. It was yeah. so. It was. Yeah, it was you're something. seeing oh, that yeah, on screen fajitas. right now. Like somebody's doing. I I can't yeah. tell if that's that's seemed to be yeah, the last piece the for oh, yeah. every yeah. person right that we middle. see at the very end. Is, it's a lot mm-hmm. like it's kind of similar. A lot of darker because some of them had like the brighter rims. So right. I, think I just was trying. Just I had so many like times when I just thought I had a piece and it just didn't. Like I was I was getting so kind of like worried. Was like what if I don't finish? Like <laughs> what if somehow none of these pieces fit. <laughs> That's but, yeah. I couldn't believe just how like close I was getting. I thought somehow people were finishing but they just weren't clapping. Like I just I just assumed that like there's no way that I'm I'm this close, but then cameras were around me and people were around me. And I was just thinking like, oh, this is legit. <laughs> and then I just heard like a couple people finish. It was like, okay, cool. And then I just couldn't believe like, mm-hmm. I just couldn't believe yeah, it. Especially just awesome. to know that I was against, um, uh, it was, was it like, Ka- was it Kathy? Uh, yeah, Kathy Reuter. Kathy Reuter and Sarah Schuler. Sarah I was just Schuller, like, it was so cool. Lord yeah. yeah. What's also fun is that um, one of the other competitors, Mary Cardi, and mm-hmm. I shared a table last year. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Individuals, yeah. And we like we yeah. met and stuff, uh-huh. and she did really well. Yeah, she did. She's in the I, final as well. I just got to talk to her again, and just, it was mm-hmm. so cool just to be like, pe- like people just getting to reunite. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And for our maybe live stream viewers that don't know. She competed in the I 80s know. and 90s yes. originally. She, she, she told me about that, and I thought that was so cool. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So her and Larry Blank came back mm-hmm. in 2024. They yeah. had both competed in the, which had been discontinued from like the oh, early yeah. 90s, yeah. and so we revived it yep. here after 30 years, yeah. literally. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm but glad you they, did. They, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but she competed in the original. Yeah, she, she's yeah, OG, so yeah, you exactly. know, for sure. And so yeah. you, yeah. like the youngest competitor and the, not the oldest age-wise, yeah, but the longest well, yeah. running competitor. Right. That's right. really cool that you guys yeah. did. What are, what are the odds? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's so awesome. I have to ask because one of the things that's fun in the comments mm-hmm. that I've been noticing is initially, you know, there was so much speculation coming into this weekend, which mm-hmm. we as organizers absolutely we love it. We love to look at what people are saying on social and like, you know, the conspiracy theories of the strings <laughs> and it's going to be this type of puzzle and maybe oh, yeah, they'll do this. It out. What was Those your things. speculation coming in? I, Did you honestly, have any? I wasn't sure. I mean, yeah. I, I couldn't, I knew it could be literally anything because it's unreleased. Yeah, and right. I think I was pleasantly surprised last year because it was this great set of downtown sort of sk- cityscape with the Hotel Del Coronado and Balboa mm-hmm. Park. Mm-hmm. And I just, it was just, oh, food. <laughs> it's awesome. Like, it, could, it literally could be anything. And yeah, yeah. I was just excited. I mean, mm-hmm. if anything, regardless of how I placed, it's still getting a free puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that you've already that's put together. To yeah, exactly. yeah, it's like I know that all the pieces are there. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a great point. I, I do. Yeah, it's fun to hear what people think they're going to see. And yeah, you'll, you'll find out over the weekend, I guess. So, yeah. is there anything you're looking forward to in particular? Is individual the one that you really enjoy doing? the most I'm, or I'm only mm-hmm. doing individual well you are yeah. you're not doing pairs or teams my, my okay. parents are just great like supporters and stuff mm-hmm. my dad's here I was like, gonna say is that him over there with the camera who's been pointing it over here yep there he's waving to us he's great um mm-hmm. but I'm just like really really into doing mm-hmm. puzzles just like yeah. by myself and so yeah. I think I just I wasn't sure how I would connect with others sure, or if I sure. even wanted to. Yeah, I mean like I'm yeah. very I'm a college student. I'm very yeah. busy. Oh, like sure. I just mm-hmm. I just know that carving out a weekend just for two hours max and then I can just like go home and puzzle work yep. on, and work on homework. <laughs> <laughs> and then come back Sunday and yeah. Yeah. knock out yeah. the final. Yeah. You no, know, I was just I, I couldn't, I just, I'm so happy. Yeah, congrats. Yeah, I can tell. You look like you're just kind of so vibrating with excitement. Wh- what's right your major? Um, I'm currently undeclared. I think I'm leaning a little bit t- in this towards sociology, oh, but okay. I'm just sort of, mm-hmm. I'm doing whatever, mm-hmm. like having, having yeah. fun. Yeah. Great. We actually have a seminar here uh, mm-hmm. this weekend with a couple of um, researchers. So E.B. Karen, she's a puzzler that lots of people are you know know her she puzzles with Karen puzzles in team contests she's actually conducting some research around like uh you know how puzzling I I believe it has something to do with like you know the characteristics of speed puzzlers kind of thing Mm -hmm. um so it's like a little yeah sociological kind of research and they're doing a panel here today to talk about it so yeah I'm excited that they're here and you know kind of sharing that with everybody and uh, so, you know, maybe you could find out some 
what are some sociological traits of the yeah. jigsaw puzzle community? I think they're all lovely people. That's the main trait, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Just it's finished so a minute yep, 30, or I keep saying a one hour, 36 minutes, yeah. or yep. in the final 24 minutes of this mm -hmm. competition. But, but we already have our yeah. top 33 that have advanced. I was going to say, and you look around the room, and then, you know, there's not a ton of people left. Let's see where we're at for um, finishes here. If we refresh and kind of see how many well, people are entered in. Everyone gets to, or almost everyone gets to finish. That'll be. You know, oh, even if wow. they don't get to move yeah. on, that'll be great. So, so 59. Of, right. Out of 100, like we have 59 people who finish. Wow. Yeah. That's really good. Right around the hour and a half mark, mm -hmm. you know, that, that 60, almost 60 people have finished. Mm -hmm. And you look at the video here, too, and you start to see, there's like, some, yep, there's mm -hmm. some more people that are really getting she's close. She only has two so or three great. people, pieces left, mm -hmm. that person. Kind of comes in like spurts of like the first group of people to finish right. the puzzle, and then it's just like because everyone has sort of different strategies. It always feels like there's going to be just waves yep. when people yep. are finishing. I would agree with you. I think that is kind of how it works. Three mm -hmm. seconds between first and second I know, place. I know. I heard that. That's so like that's so cool. That's yeah. so cool. It, just like yeah. I think it was close last year as well. When you were over, because you were on the oh, far yeah, corner, I was on the, the farthest corner like you, you could were, be. You were all the way across the room from us, and we did see the camera on you off and on because they could tell you were doing well but yeah like did you get a sense at all of like did you have a sense at all that, that yeah I, you know you know people are looking at you right so I you mean, think yeah, maybe could, it's going I, okay I could get a sense that like okay there's cameras okay mm -hmm. there's there's judges like I was I felt like I was doing well mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like kind of as like a I was just sort of kind of getting occasional glances around me but mm -hmm. I tried not to think too much about it because yeah. everyone has their own like path did and you their own things did you stop and clap for the winners or did you just keep <laughs> I on think going I did like for a second <laughs> but I was just like I want to I'm getting close yeah. I want to see how how like fast I can do yeah. this and Karen Puzzles told us a, something similar mm -hmm. to what you mentioned a little bit ago about thinking oh they've already been finishing but no it's just been quiet right and she was only had a few pieces left and she's like I haven't heard anyone cheering yet she's yeah, like yeah. can I actually be this close right, and then right. right before she finished yeah Karen or uh, Yvonne, Yvonne Poise finished, yeah. finished yeah. Yeah. just yeah. but she said she was thinking the same thing she's like no I can't be this close to being done and no one else has <laughs> right, finished yet right. oh my gosh I can yeah. actually win this thing yeah. I mean I just I was just surprised mm -hmm. as just being like I was just like I'm just this random San Diego girl who happens to like puzzles. Like, well, I mean, if you're if you're a yeah. Karen puzzles, like, yeah. you're, like <laughs> it's another level, right? Yeah, yeah Karen. I, I, I love a, Karen puzzles. Oh, I know. I got, to, I, got I got to meet her last year. Oh, and you it was did. Really, really cool. Oh, yeah. She's, yeah. She's she's up to two hundred and eighty-five thousand YouTube subscribers. Yeah. I wow. looked it up. She was at like. 195 last year so she's added almost a hundred thousand yeah, yeah. in the past Thankfully, year. Thankfully like as I was like I was getting I'd always loved doing puzzles but during mm -hmm. the pandemic I just had a lot more free time and I just mm -hmm. started like just doing it mm -hmm. from doing them for fun and I ended up just kind of stumbling upon her channel and it was really cool just to learn mm -hmm. about different kinds of puzzles different brands yeah and it's allowed me to sort of like widen my expectations like before kind of finding her I had never really done really big puzzles sure. and since then I've been able to do like 3,000 pieces, 5,000 pieces, like just mm -hmm. things I didn't think I could do. Mm -hmm. And it's just awesome just to feel like a, a personal sense of growth. And yeah. I, I don't know how much more I could go because I have very limited space. Right. Yeah. But yeah. I've, that I've is had tough to use about like the big giant, ones. Giant like boards. For, but the yeah. forty thousand. Oh my gosh. Puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> you have to like <laughs> rent a room somewhere yeah. to like put a that warehouse. together. Yeah. A really long hallway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Take out a couple of wall. The next mm -hmm. dorm, we're gonna just make this into a fourplex. Or yeah. Something. You're right, though. Karen has definitely helped spread the word to a lot of people who didn't know speed puzzling existed. I, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, I heard about this, the Nationals, from one of her videos because she was covering mm -hmm. Worlds. Mm -hmm. And there's like, oh, by the way, there's going to be a National Jigsaw Puzzle Competition in San Diego. I was like, wait, I'm from there. <laughs> like, it was so much. It was nice to just kind of go right? compete. 
yep. go home, sleep in my own bed. <laughs> like, <laughs> right? Which, and you have a home team advantage, I know, right? There's, yep. there's people traveling from all over. Oh, like, yeah. I'm mm-hmm. just, I'm just honored and just feel really lucky because yeah. I feel like I would try my best to go mm-hmm. even if it wasn't here. But sure. just being this here made it, it makes slam it a lot yeah. better yeah. and cheaper. Right? Right? It's Absolutely, easier on yeah. the pocketbook. Yeah. Well, yeah. and when you're on the subject of Karen, because you know we're on Twitch this year for the first time. So shout out to all the folks who are watching via Twitch. We hope you're enjoying this. Um, we've never tried it before. We're, we're doing two broadcasts simultaneously. Um, and we have a, a Twitch influencer here, um, Adele. She's known as like, uh, I think it's Gma Puzzler or Gma Puzzles. And cool. uh, she has a big following on Twitch where she likes to just go on. I don't know that she necessarily speed puzzles when she's on Twitch. She just is like puzzling and chatting and, and being everybody's yeah. lovely grandma figure. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so yeah, and she's competing right now. She's in this division. I, I'll see if uh, they can get uh, uh, Jima, if you can get Adele on screen so we can give her a shout out. So we'll maybe try to do that right now. But yeah, she's she's still out there competing i would love to have her come over and join us and talk <laughs> but obviously we can't interrupt her yeah, she's it, puzzling it's so cool that that there's a twitch stream as well because i remember mm-hmm. there was the youtube broadcast last year and i remember like yeah. sending it to my friends and like they yep. would, there she is yeah that's adele right there right. yeah and um i have like my this mm-hmm. year on the the streams i have like my grandma watching oh nice and, and my mom and yeah. it's just like it's really nice to just feel like yeah. i have support kind of coming from anywhere it's, right it's great that this has the ability to just reach so many people right. because it's just this is a fun little place and a nice little community yeah yeah yes, it, it is. really is and i love that um you know just the idea of like i'm just gonna puzzle online and anybody who wants to join me and just have a chat it's like that's such a great idea and just like so wholesome that's something we get a lot in the comments as people say like this is the most wholesome thing (laughs) i've ever watched (laughs) because everybody's also excited for each other when they win you know there's no like yeah right right (laughs) it's very like oh good for them (laughs) yeah right in your face Yeah, it's always nice because I kind of like imagine when I'm at home like puzzling and stuff like no no one's around but I sort of yeah. think like huh if only <laughs> some, sometimes if like I, I'm talking to my parents like yeah. I'll just like talk to them like it's, it's really nice to just have something to do with my hands if I'm like engaged sure like sure. verbally or something yep. with, with someone else it's just a nice just it's yeah. calming it's relaxing I think some of, of the best conversations I have are over a puzzle like honestly because mm-hmm. you're yeah. kind of occupying your mind in a different way and you can just kind of relax into it and yeah it's really yeah. lovely yeah but thank you so much of for course. joining I'm, us I hope we see more me. of you this Our weekend pleasure. Yeah, yeah so Abby you did great we'll be we'll be watching all right yeah. thank, thank okay. you so much you yeah. good luck on Sunday yeah afternoon. good luck Absolutely. yeah bye bye <laughs> Yeah, this is great. This is so much fun getting to talk to people who finished and actually did the puzzle. I think. Oh, let's see. I'm just kind of looking around the and room. And what man. a lovely young lady. Yes. Boy, very yes. Great. Charming and eloquent, and she okay. was wonderful. We have 68 people now who have finished the puzzle. Oh, and there's another one right okay. there. So Fantastic. 31 left and they yep. have that was 16 table. minutes exactly we're just at the hour 44 mark go ahead yeah i think That's that was table, table 55 i think was her table number so that would be becky gutierrez mm-hmm. if that i had that right sorry it's hard to see the table numbers from here <laughs> But yeah, that's, oh, I love that, you know, so many are getting done in under the two hours. And that's what we want to see as organizers is that that people hopefully get enough time to finish. It's such a nice feeling when you complete it. But, you know, if they don't finish, how it works is when the timer hits 200, we uh, immediately say, you know, time and everybody has to take their hands off the puzzle and at that point, the volunteers go around and they count how many pieces are left so that we can still get a complete ranking. And it'll just be based on, you know, if you've had like two pieces left, you would be, you know, at the top of the folks who haven't finished the puzzle. Right. So that's right. how that works if um, you haven't completed it within the two hour time limit. A few people have said in the comments, I wish Worlds would give people two hours instead of one and a half hours. Oh, right. But I more think more finish. than anything, it comes down to. You know, Worlds is such a huge event. I mean, he gets, you know, Mm -hmm. 
couple thousand people coming to Worlds. So it's really about economical time too. You know, right. it's like how do we fit in as many divisions as we can in a day? So as many so, people can at least get right, a chance to right. advance to the finals. And, and you if know, you're already not going to advance, right. it's Yep. That's where you need to cut the time if exactly. you're, you know, yep. unfortunately. And at that level, honestly, at the world's level, you know, <laughs> it, 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 it wouldn't matter if you had a two-hour time. Sure, more people would finish, but you're, all the people who are going to advance are going to be done in under an hour probably anyway. So I kind of get it, you yeah, know, why totally Alfonso do. keeps it a little you, shorter you at Worlds. It definitely is nerve-wracking. <laughs> <laughs> An hour and a half completion is really solid. So every time I talk to people at Worlds, it's like, I'm just going to be glad if I'm done in the hour and a half. Right, right. Yep. But yeah, here we go. Another fajitas. <laughs> another, another one that's finishing the fajitas at the end. Yes, we, almost every one that we've seen. Yeah, it really is. I'm end. not seeing a ton of shape sorting, but a little bit. It looks right. like there might be a little shape sorting going on towards the end when people are just like having a hard time filling those final spots. Right, right. I don't think any of the top people did any shape sorting. Oh, here we had another one right next to us finish. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't she hear that, she's, oh my God. <laughs> Uh, she didn't think she was going to finish, but yeah. no, she did. And she, she has 14 minutes to spare. She some, did great. Some friends right here yep. with her as well that were cheering her on from yep. the spectator se section, which was nearby. So yep. that was great. Yep. She's chatting with them now. So good for her. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Oh, she's I like, bet. her hands are shaking. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> my hands oh. <laughs> and I totally get that. She didn't yeah. think she was going to finish, and she did, so that's excellent. I did want to mention we should can't probably see her table number, do a shout-out to some of our other sponsors. That's what I was just pulling yeah, up right so here. Yeah, so Jeff, in you fact. could go for that. So, yes, I want to uh, mention Masterpieces. Dive into a world of captivating imagery and unparalleled craftsmanship with Masterpieces jigsaw puzzles. Each piece is meticulously hand-drawn to deliver an unforgettable puzzling experience. Also, one of our sponsors, Puzzle Warehouse. Puzzlewarehouse.com is the premier destination for puzzle enthusiasts. We offer the largest variety of puzzles in the United States, catering to all ages and preferences. Our commitment to customer satisfaction is evident in our user-friendly website, which provides a seamless shopping experience Additionally, Puzzle Warehouse supports the puzzle community by fostering a culture of engagement and enjoyment around puzzling, hosting events, and offering a Puzzle of the Month Club. We hope to see you soon at PuzzleWarehouse.com. And also Eboo. Eboo is proud to be part of the 2024 U.S. Jigsaw Nationals. Eboo Peace and Love creates puzzles that are always beautiful and tell a story. We collaborate with independent artists from around the world to create designs that are sturdy and sustainably made from 90% recycled board and vegetable-based inks. Learn more about us at eboo.com. That's spelled E-E-B-O-O.com. Yeah, we have a lot of sponsors here at the event, which is kind of cool because if you're a puzzler, every puzzler has like a favorite brand. They... Uh, they, you know, favorite brand, favorite cut, uh, you know, and it can come down to, do you like the puzzle to be shiny? Or do you like it to be particularly vibrant? I mean, there's puzzle companies that print on kind of a velvety texture. So do you like the feel of that mm. more so? So everybody has that favorite brand and, you know, thing that they like to do in particular. And so it's really fun. They come to this event and they can talk to the owners <laughs> of some of these puzzle companies, like personally, and right. just be like, this is what I like. You know, I want you to do more of this. We get a lot of that where people are networking with the actual like puzzle companies to kind of share what they like and, and what right. they appreciate about their particular brand. And that's how I'm sure these companies realize what's, you know, mm -hmm. hot out there and yeah. maybe where to gear yeah. some of their future sure. puzzles what's towards. what's trending out yes. there for puzzles. Yeah, it's a, for it's sure. It's amazing to hear that. Mm-hmm. 
So it's a lot of fun that we get to connect with them too because, you know, if you're in this community, speed puzzlers go through a lot of puzzles, Jeff. <laughs> right. Yeah, I get them. I, they knock a 500 one out in under, less than an hour. Under, under, under they an could, hour. A weekend, a, a cold, snowy weekend in Minnesota, you could knock out a dozen puzzles. So, yeah, you're right. Yep. I hadn't thought That's about exactly that. exactly it. So we just got the 10-minute ten ten minute warning, warning there. Yep, All Allie right. let everybody know we're down to 10 minutes left. And we had 72, yeah, and there may be a couple more that have finished yep, that we don't there. have entered yet. In fact, uh, oh, oh yep, we're down that, we're up to 74. That's great. So this is going to be really fabulous. So yeah. Katie Graham at 74 came cross country. Yeah. Tanya... Tanya Vatanas. Yeah. yeah, it's a long name. Bat Sorry for if, if we're probably. getting that wrong. Massachusetts. Yep. Yeah. And then Emma Clough. That name sounds familiar. Yeah, from Emma Clough is familiar. Yep. Yeah. So and some uh, that Becky Gutierrez, as you mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, uh, San Diego and Barbara Steinbach from San Diego. So yeah, some locals, so some El Cajon. Locals, yep. That's a San yep. Diego suburb there, Jessica Brewer. So I mean, if you have it happening in your hometown, the national championship, you got to enter, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, if you're so. at all interested exactly. in this kind of thing, exactly. like, hey, I got to take advantage of that. Exactly. So uh, just to go back to the very beginning mm -hmm. for folks that uh, mm -hmm. maybe have joined us late, that we had three seconds between the first and second mm -hmm. place finishers in this first preliminary round. 100 people in it. Uh, they're doing a 500-piece puzzle. Top 33 of the 100 advance to Sunday afternoon's finals. Mm -hmm. Kathy Reuter, mm -hmm. definitely one of the fastest puzzlers in the U.S. and mm -hmm. the world, from Duval, Washington, finished in 46 minutes and 50 seconds with Sarah Schuler literally like one or two pieces behind, mm -hmm. probably one piece mm -hmm. behind. Sarah from St. Paul, 46.53. Then Lauren Couts from Minneapolis. She was uh, just about a minute and a half after them at 48.22. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Abby, who we just talked to a few mm -hmm. minutes ago, the, she's now probably 18, I suppose, and a college student. Yep. She finished fourth, 49 minutes, 24 seconds. She's here from San Diego. Melinda Whiting, mm -hmm. also a very well-known uh, mm -hmm. name, yep. very uh, fast puzzler. Obviously, she finished fifth from Cottonwood Heights, Utah, 52.35. Um, Sarah yeah. Oman, sixth from Corvallis. Mm -hmm. So... That may Corvallis is where uh, Oregon State University is, yeah, so mm -hmm. perhaps a uh, student uh, or a former Associated student or Corvallis, teacher, yeah. a professor there, uh, Eric Goulet, seventh. Mari Black, mm -hmm. yeah, eighth, yep, Eric seventh, uh, Linnea, mm -hmm. Sheik, she, Shia. Yeah, I think shy maybe. I'm shy, not sure how it's S H yeah, we'll I E H from yep. Sunnyvale, California. Mm -hmm. So that's the San Francisco Bay Area. Mm -hmm. She was ninth, and then Gray Rogers from mm -hmm. Shreveport, Louisiana. She was tenth, and then we talked to Josh right. and uh, Josh Traeger. He was eleventh yeah. there. So, so we that had just kind of rounds 10. out some yeah, of the, the top ten. Yeah, top ten plus yeah. Josh, who we got to chat with yeah. as well. So it was uh, fun talking with him, mm -hmm. and everybody was. Uh, Oh, Great, so and we, of course, will see the top 33 yeah. finishers in the Sunday final. Mm -hmm. We have two more preliminary rounds coming yep, up today I see also. people talking about it in the chat. We're going to have, yep, right, right after this, uh, we, we have about a 25-minute break. Yeah. You and I are going to have to eat quickly, yeah, Jeff. Eat, eat, eat lunch our quickly. lunch quickly. Karen yep. Puzzles, the runner-up from the individual final in 2022. Yep. And She'll the, be in the next round. The biggest, most, most well-known puzzler mm -hmm. here with yep. her... Uh, giant uh, YouTube following. Mm -hmm. She's yeah competing along with a couple of other top mm -hmm. highly ranked puzzlers. And then in the third round of the day, the 2022 individual winner, Yvonne Foyt, who also placed very high in the pairs and the team competition. In fact, she her, her team won the team competition mm -hmm. in 2022, um, I believe. No, she hers finished third or fourth. 
Sarah was in the top winning team, no snacks. But yes, Yvonne exactly. But Yvonne yeah. in the pairs came in third mm -hmm. or fourth and in the team mm -hmm. third or fourth because yeah. I know her other two were mm -hmm. three and four. Yeah. So she's in the third heat along with several other very you oh, know, yeah. well-known puzzlers, like fast we said, puzzlers. Every we'll division. keep, we'll yeah. keep an eye on them, but it's always fun to see mm -hmm. folks we didn't know like Abby. Yep. She was like... Twenty yeah. fourth, yeah, she, she said last time, last time and she, she was fourth five. this yeah, time. Yeah, right. so we're yep. you know it's really fun when mm -hmm. someone we don't know also does really well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think I mean it's looking really good that there's going to be a lot of people that still finish with five minutes to go. You know, we're getting down there, but there's a lot of people with just a few pieces left, which is lovely. Oh, another one. What table number was that one? 16 table 16 all right that was oh wait oh 36 sorry okay 36 right it there. was bridget, bridget flatley. flatley all right congratulations bridget you've finished so yeah we've had a few people ask yep we're gonna have another puzzling round right after this it's preliminary round number two it starts at 1 p.m pacific time so that'll be live streamed as well mm -hmm. so we'll be back with that um we'll conclude this live stream pretty soon after the time is called um, and Allie's going to be getting ready to do that here soon. And we're under four minutes so we'll toss yep. it back to Allie in right. just a couple yep. of minutes to yep. do the final countdown. It'll be hands hands off the puzzle. Exactly. Uh, yep. Photographers will take shots of their puzzle mm -hmm. um, and then they'll count how many unassembled pieces there are left to figure out mm -hmm. the, the all 100 places from Exactly. first to last yep, everyone right will it'll yep. go towards their rankings yep. so we have had you know i don't know i think actually in this round we have room for 100 i don't know if we ended up filling we had 99 this oh, morning okay okay because a few people canceled at the last right, minute right right so we've had this wait list and we've been trying to find those folks if they're here at the event to say do you want that other spot and try <laughs> right. to fill them which is a bit of a logistical nightmare right right for us as organizers to find individuals to be like do you want to join or not or whatever so we're going to try to fill all the competitions like so if right. there's somebody here and they didn't plan to do it but then we have a spot open up we're just like hey jump in we sure. want you to do it we you, want people to it'll be fun for yeah, them it'll yep. be fun exactly you get a puzzle <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> use the puzzles you might get a puzzle <laughs> oh they're but, still finishing here yeah, in the so final folks, oh there she got in just under two the and wire. a half minutes yeah that's all right great. that is wonderful i know too Robinsberger. uh they're they have a big booth here at the event and they are planning to have these puzzles for sale so after a competition they they add it to it the out. racks and then if people couldn't you know get the puzzle because they weren't in this division they can immediately buy it take it back to their room and put it together <laughs> tonight and time exactly. themselves see how exactly. they would do people are going to be doing the competition that like that's excellent so we're coming up on the two minutes yeah, left mark and mm -hmm. we're going to have about maybe 20 people that don't finish something yeah, like that something we're probably like that. around yeah, I, I should look so. again at the results we'll just quick uh, glance sure. at that and then uh, oops wrong one here and then we can see kind of where we're at we'll just to refresh it Tammy is our head judge she's the one entering these all as they come yeah. in we have 76 Six. people entered right and now so that means about 24 tw left yeah 24 and i think they did have mm -hmm. the one that may not be entered yet but i don't know yeah, Bethany we'll Wyatt, see. dripping springs texas getting okay yeah at 156.04 yeah, 156 yeah so yeah, we I have mean, a minute and a half left. If you're at this point, it's not like, you know, you, you're not, like the pressure's off because you still want to finish. Right, of you course. Know? So even if you know, like, I'm not moving forward, whatever, you still are just like, I want to finish it in the okay. two hours. We're so the pressure there. is still on for the folks who are still going here. Excellent. Especially if you, you know, if it's within distance. You know, if you yeah. had like 100 pieces right. left right now, you're like, all right, right. it's if not going to happen If you have a few left, me. you want to make right. it. And we're and at the, the panic. one minute left. One minute left. <laughs> exactly. Then tomorrow, the two pairs, mm -hmm. preliminaries first, then the team competition. Yeah, the team competition. And then on Sunday, first the pairs final. Yep. And then the, and then the individual final. Individual final yep. And then the closing ceremonies. Mm -hmm. So we'll get ready to toss yeah, it back to Ali Krasny yeah, on the main stage here. Yeah, pretty soon. Just a few yeah. moments. So, yeah, if you want to get so ready glad. to tell yeah. Misty on the floor to yep, get ready to going. cue Allie. So, 
we can take yep. it over. So we are going to go right. to Everyone's Allie now. Puzzling. You've got just a little bit of time left. We will do a countdown when we have five seconds left. So just puzzle as fast as you can. And 15 seconds left. So is someone going to finish? I know. We're not seeing anybody, but come on. I think they're going to go back to somebody. Anyone okay. yet? All right, oh, five, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Put your hands up. Hands up, everyone. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Great job, everybody. If you haven't finished your puzzle, please keep uh, your hands off the puzzle, and we will have volunteers come around and get a photo and help you start counting your leftover pieces so that we can get a rank for you. Um, all of the results well, we'll will be across yeah, the yeah, hall, so you can what check them out there, or you can go to our website no, to check um, them out. Uh, yeah, I think we one. are also going to do our raffle. We're going to announce our first five convention raffle winners. Um, so I am going to go ahead and announce those names now. And we will post those also on the website and have those up in Kensington. So if I call your name, head up to Kensington to get your raffle prize. Uh, make sure to get that by 3 p.m. Um, and one quick announcement before I do that. If you were waiting on a hotel room, you pre-checked in and you got a call or text, make sure to stop by the front desk. They have your keys for you. All right. So All right. the first winner of the raffle. Okay. We're going to say goodbye for today's first preliminary round. And, Thank you uh, for watching the yeah. live stream of the Thank USA you. Jigsaw <laughs> Nationals. I'm yeah. Jeff Whittle. She's Valerie Coit. And we're going to resume the live stream with the second individual okay. preliminary yeah. round. Uh, starting in about 25 minutes or so. So we'll see you there. All right, we're going to announce uh, the first five raffle winners. So the first name here is Wesley Ball. Wesley Ball. 